first. I think at a high level, like. To me. Are you on already? I'm having the oh, happy nice. anniversary to me. How about me? I mean, <laughs> it's my anniversary happy too. Happy anniversary to me. Well, I almost made it 36. <laughs> 26 years. Nookie. Today. Nookie, nookie. Soke, soke. Ready? Soke, soke. What are you talking about? <laughs> so guys, so guys. How do you make that? Which way do you get her? There we go. Have Tracy. Can you move that Aaron. alcohol? Thank like you. Thank you to us in our day of love. It's our day oh, of please. love. Our day yeah, listen, of you know, Listen, let me consume a beer love. before you start singing. <laughs> then I'll be fine with it. But not before I had my first show. You were a little testy. I'm, I'm not testy at all. You were testy. I was not testy. You were testy. You I, had a little bit of an attitude. I, I, I had making dinner for my dad. Happy anniversary to us. you're singing. Us. I mean, what's in that and how long have you been going at it? Let's, let's Happy get full anniversary disclosure. to us. She must have been us. celebrating all day. Happy anniversary mm. to me and Dan. That's good. That's good. How is everybody? How are you doing in Scotland? Happy anniversary to us. And many more. Shut if you guys shut could shut tap for our anniversary, if you could tap 26 times, <laughs> one time for each year we've been married. Ugh. In some of and those if you years, could tap maybe I, like... Some, sometimes I believe that it could be a double tap because I feel like Tap, 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 it's tap, been tap, tap. 52 years, not just 26 years. Well, it's been 26 for you and 26 for me. That's 52. Well, Between us. Between us. I think it's been more like 42 years for me and 14 years for me. for me. No. <laughs> like I've aged the most, <laughs> obviously. Look at you and look at me. Obviously, this relationship has aged you better than me. So that means somebody, I must have been pulling the hard load. You are a hard load. <laughs> I'm just curious. That bowl of cereal on the table, is that somebody's here? That is yours. And it's not cereal, it's salad. Pardon me? It's salad. It's sour? Salad. A salad. Is that mine? That's yours. Then I go eat it. Now. You can munch it, Dad. It's very good, too. I made it myself. It's got carrots, tomatoes, a little bit of pork. It's got good lettuce, good avocado, well, ranch dressing. I don't dressing. need to put anything on, do I? No, it's already there. You will love it. You can, so it's already, I eat it now? you can eat it now. You can eat it later. You can eat it. Well, I'll eat it now because I'm really hungry. Then I think you should eat it now. Thank you. You're welcome. You didn't put avocado in it, right? I put avocado ranch dressing on oh, okay. avocado. He doesn't like avocado. avocado. Yeah. No. Happy anniversary to me. Lily, I... I no, Lily. Okay, it's so, my anniversary. So here's so what happened. Okay, that's a great comment. Danielle's oh, going to have to do shimmy shimmy tonight. So I gave him shimmy this is shimmy. what happened. So this morning when I woke up, I, you know, had forgotten that it was our anniversary. First thing in the morning, it didn't pop in my head. And she was a little bit, you know, frisky, which is unusual. And I'm like, wow, this is nice. And then, you know, three minutes later, we were done. And all of a sudden, I realized that she had just gotten she'd done her responsibility for the whole anniversary and it was over in the first three minutes this morning and i get nothing now it's a i mean that's literally what happened she's been doing this for 26 years so she's pretty good at it congratulations on 49 that is amazing katie they were married what 26 36 46 23 years to the day before us two minutes sweet monica it was more like two it's fine Remember, the quicker the better. I aim for 30 seconds is what I aim for. Well, I mean, if you like did something, it, you could probably speed the process up. When TMJ. you lay like a dead fish. TMJ. It, it, you know, I gotta TMJ. do all the work up here. TMJ. I can do all the work up well, here. Well, you got a smart head. <laughs> the dog is in there. Um, the dog's in there. No shame in 30 seconds, RTV. Come on. Come 30 on. seconds. I, I mean, 30 that's seconds. That's a good that's run. Talent. That that's a good talent. run. At that's 56? Actually, I no, think... No, 55. 55. You said 56. 
I do believe 55, 30 I do, seconds is a, is a I, serious accomplishment. I do believe you. it's taken you a little bit longer these days. Again, any, any bit of reciprocation on your part would snap that right out. Sometimes it's hard when you're talking on the phone to keep my concentration level there. I, or when you're petting the I dog do. or watching TV and responding to the TV. As well, I, I it do can make believe it really cool. your old age is slowing you down a bit. You used to be a lot quicker. I was quicker than thirty seconds. It used to be a two pump chuck, and you were done. It was perfect. And now well, it's, I've never been now a two it's pump more anything. Like, now it's like twenty five pumps. I'm I mean, like, it, Jesus Christ! Listen, okay, we, we also used to spend a lot of time getting ready, right? A lot of time it's called four. <laughs> play and now it's completely gone so Rich. it's like Look i have to Rich. go from the beginning to Rich end said, three minutes of hell go down <laughs> am i baloney has who is first name? philip my my is that probably an attorney i don't philip my is it gets tough it gets longer with age yes it are you talking about the actual unit or are you talking about the actual the time, time that you have? because the unit life. gets uh, it, it drops right it doesn't uh, does it get longer maybe it does no. gravity like boobs get longer, so why can't your berries have gotten longer? <laughs> okay, that's not true. Don't make things up. Your about berries my body. have gotten longer. I am longer. like a twenty-five-year-old body. No, you're not. I right. am too. This aren't twenty-five. But look, if I just worked out for a couple of days and lost ten pounds, I'd be twenty-five. The berries drop. Deanna is surprised. What she's getting is is a surprise. I, I cannot tell you guys I, before he I doesn't tell have her. Anything. It's fine. That's not true. I have something. Big plan, but it is a surprise. I don't want to give the secret away. Are you sure I did not? go look for a Are you sunflower. sure it's not little? <laughs> <laughs> I've never had any complaints before you. <laughs> you're, listen, it's He's all perception. It, it's all relative. Little big, big is relative. I He's mean, if something. you literally, if you're going through like, you know, an underground tunnel, a big, wide, you know, like if you if you have are you saying my tunnel's extra wide? I'm saying that Elon Musk's boring <laughs> device, you know, would probably have an easy time dealing with you. So it's relative, is what I'm saying. <sighs> relative. He was calling my tunnel extra wide. Did you hear that? I, I am a friend. Wide. I am. He said it's extra wide. I said that Elon my Musk's extra boring wide. tool can. Here's the thing. I delivered three of his children through my extra wide. Tunnel. I saw all three of them. That's what made it extra wide. I saw all three of them. <laughs> and if you kept up by having an extra sausage, that wouldn't be a problem, now would it? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to go in and have a procedure? I'm sorry, Doc. And since you wouldn't do the extra stitch, I need to have like, a, you know, a, like a plaster of Paris appendage. Um, can we add sewn it on? on, please? Do, do we? Can we add to the tip of the tip? <laughs> Can we have one of those? No. I have to be able to walk around. I mean, we can't get ridiculous. I don't want to scare people when I'm walking down the street. Oh. My God. I just blew boogers out my nose. She blew boogers. She blew boogers. Oh, God. Good times, y'all. That's what happens when you've been married for 26 years. Julia, get out now, quickly. <laughs> Quickly, while you can. Because if you get sucked into this, believe me, your entire life will change. <laughs> With that extra wide and tunnel. That extra expanded tunnel to make it for the... <laughs> Thank you, Quana. <Kwana. laughs> Just be happy with what you get, Dan. Everybody's done with you. They're done with you. I told them you... Act and you get an average of five times per Which week. Which is a lie. It's not a lie. It's an exaggeration. You get it. It doesn't matter how long the procedure takes. You still get an entrance fee and you finish whether it's in 30 seconds or two minutes and people are pissed because they're like what the fuck five average yes average of five days per week you're getting the tunnel entrance for free for free you don't even work hard for it it just slips right in and then your free pass is there I could walk right through the tunnel well you do It'd probably come out your mouth like, if you ever have your tonsils out I'm just gonna no. put my hand in no no. Just saying. Right. So everybody's done with you. I said, don't let this fucker convince you otherwise. Five times a week. Five times average. Which is just not true. It's true. Average now. Average. That means half the time it's more than that. I mean, this is just absolutely not true. Five I mean, times. I know people lie on the internet. It's a hot dog going in a bun, Rich. A hot dog going in a bun. Remember that scene in Greece? That was pretty good. Oh, he's, he's feeding the freaking dog. I told you. 
I don't even know what he's feeding the dog. Salad. Come on, you want a treat? Come on. Um, by the way, everything she's talking about my yeah, anatomy, she's, not she's, even go there. she's under exaggerating the anatomy. Everything else she exaggerates, but that she under exaggerates. So just so you know, personally, um, literally. <coughs> That's karma up for a lion. <laughs> Yeah, didn't Bruce Springsteen sing Tunnel of Love? The Tunnel of Love. Yeah. Oh, We're not going out epic because we got Grandpa. And that does, you know, if we, we could go out, we could take them, but um, we're having fun here. The Kiwi, it's okay. It's not really valid information, so just absorb it, spit it out, take it in. Bush or no, no, we don't. There's no, I mean, there used to be. It used to be back in like the 70s, but that's that's, that's that, that went away, I think, at the turn of the century, did it not? What's the turn Bush? of the century? Bush went away at the turn of the century. Bush, who the Bush, the Harry Bush, Bush or? Or? what uh, any kind of Bush? I think what it all, Bush? Bush I bad. think it was outlawed. I mean, right? Am I right? Is is the Bush back now? Yeah, the Bush is back. The Bush is back. What is that? Sounds kind of like a song. It's called uh, "The Bitch Is Back." The bitch is back, right? That's Elton John. Uh, Joe, where's my dad? He's eating dinner about five feet away from me. Thank God I can't hear it. Bush beer. That is not a bush beer. This is a Japanese beer. Thanks for the anniversary wishes. Very much appreciated. It's too hot for bush. I agree, and it's not necessary anymore. I mean, you know, two thousand years ago. It was probably necessary for some reason. I can't think of why. Come on, you want your treat? Come on. Come on. The bush is back. She's back. She's back. She's back. The bush. Are we all swingers? Um, not yet. I'm working on that. I'm, I'm, I'm trying as hard as I can, unfortunately. <clears throat> or maybe I, I don't know. After 26 years, I should know. What's the secret to 26 years marriage? That's an excellent question. Um, What's the question? Power and balance. Okay. Um, you know, she keeps me pushed down, and therefore I'm stuck. You're stuck? I'm stuck. So oh. what's, what's the, what is the secret for 26 years of marriage? Do you know? Um, yes, anger. Anger? Lots of anger. Blue balls. Lots of cheating. Lots of cheating. Lots of cheating. Yes. Emotional relationships. Emotional cheating as well. Not, emo not necessarily well, sexual. For you emotionally, for me, yes, me, just all out, straight up cheating. Yes. Okay. Me is emotional. Um, and you is just straight up cheating. Tunnel in the hole. Tunnel in the hole. Does that make sense? No. Train tunnel in the hole. Wide load in the hole. Wide load. Because he likes to see, think he's a wide load. I like to think that. Mm -hmm. Wide load. Wide. Coming. Do I have a red flag on the end of it saying, large Watch out for wide ass. Wide load. Wide load. <laughs> wide load. Fire in the hole. Unfortunately, <laughs> there often is fire in the hole. Uh, for me. Uh, I don't, I, that's a good question. I think yeah. that. Respect is probably the number one. Um, compassion, um, empathy. Um, none of which he has. Try and not be which, impulsive. None of which he has. If you could he's take, impulsive. Well, I'm not telling you, you are. my secrets are. I'm just telling you what, <laughs> I don't follow my advice. No, he doesn't. If you, you know that. Like, Can you say that again for the world Anytime to hear? you're gonna make a decision, don't make, don't make decisions you know, on the spot. Take time, breathe. I think someone said breathe. Breathe in and out. If you can just not be impulsive, that would be, that's a huge thing. You know, what, what you, when you want to say it, when you want to call her that, you know. You do. Sometimes, and it's always a mistake. You right? do. It's all, it never works out well. <laughs> so he be, be nice, don't fall names. Sometimes you feel like a nut. And get, forgive, too. You have to forgive. I'm just, I've, I've stopped forgiving, the unforgiven. That's a movie. Clint Eastwood, Eastwood. Quint Eswood? Eswood, Eswood. Do you his, know what that his, movie's about? His, um... Do you know what it's about? His son is hot. you know? What? I, mean, I have, I have... You've got so many men that I you have, talk about. Yeah. I have lots of regrets. Thank you, Barbara. I have lots of regrets. What are they? Oh, newlywed game questions. Yeah, yes. so... Anything you want to ask... Okay, but we're going to have to do this... You have this. to ask me about her or yeah, her about I me. I, it's going to be hard because everybody's going to start throwing things out. So, we will... Maybe... My wife looks young. Are you young? I'm not. I'm 49. 49. 49. God, can you believe that? Mm -mm. I'm older than the hills. Well, 
They're not next to me older than the mountains. Do the hills have eyes? Thanks, Oh, well, that's awesome. Happy birthday to your wife, Scott. She is young. 40, 49 is young. No, I agree. It's not. I'm getting older. I'm getting to that point where now every ache and pain is cancer or, you know. Yeah, none of them are. Well, we don't know. They, there are usually excuses. It could be. You, I mean, you, you thrive on aches. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm got a headache. I do. I got my back hurting. I love you. My arm hurts. I love you, but. I got diarrhea. Yeah, I'm I mean, not, you you have more excuses than Carter has pills. I'm really. I mean, love in fact, you. You, what was your? You had the best excuse the other night. I will share this with you. And this is a lot of this is fed, but this Jen, is not fed. Thank fib. you. Exactly. Do you know what her excuse was on July fourth? She had her excuse, and it was a new one. I'll have to hand it to her. What did I say? You said we can't, honey. The dogs are upset because of the firework noise. <laughs> I say that. And that was your excuse <laughs> not to do it However, because the dogs were upset. Yeah. Baxter was on top of your head and Coda was in between us and he wanted to move the dogs and I said the dogs are unhappy Move the dogs. No, we already had sex that day. We did not. Yes, we did. Uh, you, make, you add a lot of sex. I mean, do you have dreams? Or, is there something Okay, happening? I'm going to start videoing every time we have sex and showing Please it to do. everybody. I've tried to video for 26 years. You've always said no. <laughs> if you want to start videoing now, that's wonderful. I'm going to show them your wide load. <laughs> You're gonna, you're gonna get swallowed up and disappear into the the great abyss. The I great mean, abyss of my life. I swear to God, love. you could you could tunnel of love. Who's sing that song? What tunnel of love? Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, tunnel of love. I have a tunnel of love. It doesn't mean it ma doesn't matter how big my tunnel of love is. You should love it because of the kids that came out of it. I I've always loved it before, <laughs> during, and after the kid. Well, not during the kid, not during the birth anyway. After actually the that first, was. No, the it's first a pretty gnarly experience. If you've never I, witnessed childbirth, the first I highly one, don't recommend it. I highly don't recommend it. The old days when you sat out in the waiting room with a cigar, I mean, there was something to that. I, I don't, not all for this in the in the room stuff. I mean, it was pretty cool, pretty hardcore. So he didn't touch me after Jennifer for like six months. That's absolutely another lie. No. Maybe maybe no, two weeks. No, you were scared as shit. You said no, thank you. And after the second, I don't third, know what I saw. I mean, when I, the after, first time, I was, I was after literally. After the second, I had PTSD. You did. I, I mean, know. literally for six I, months. I mean, it changes like not. It's not just like something opens and a baby comes <laughs> out. It's like literally. Have you guys seen Alien? You know where the the thing comes out of Sigourney Weaver's chest. It's similar, more similar to that than than anything else I can describe. Alien. In fact, I'm almost 100 percent positive that the inspiration. For that scene in Alien, somebody, Girl, some writer had Billy just Girl gone to his wife's. The first one, the first one, I was worried that Childhood. he was never going to recover because he was so petrified. He said, "And I what did never... you do the second time?" The second time, you shot week... projectiles at me out of your ass. Yes. Yes. You deserved it. You did, and you some did. of them hit the wall behind me. God, it felt like birds shitting on my head, and that freaked me out even they worse were, than seeing they were, Jennifer. They were pellets. They were. They weren't even pellets. They were not like hard. They were hard pellets. No. They splattered on the wall they like didn't. a painting, like somebody throwing some paint against the wall. No. Except it was light brown paint. That's, it was light brown? Or dark brown, I don't remember. Maybe it had some blood. I don't, I don't know, but it was bad. Don't eat um, before or after childbirth, too. That's another thing. Remember we had a... When, after, after Andrew was born, I went to Togo's, and I, and I, and I did... I'm just going to tell you this right now, and it's still stupid, you know, but I have 20-20 hindsight. Never, ever, ever in a million years after you witness childbirth, do you not me. order a pastrami sandwich from Togo's. I'm just telling you, because if you look literally at like there's a little bit of mustard, some pastrami and some lettuce and some tomato in there. If you open, if you smash that down, you open it up and you look in the sandwich, it, it, I mean, you can't really tell the difference. Don't order pastrami after childbirth. William, stupid question. What? Don't worry about it. Yeah, Dan's like, I don't know why I ordered a pastrami sandwich. That was not a good idea. And it was a large, too. Did you eat that? I ate it. I was yeah. hungry. I couldn't eat Bring it. Bring on the pastrami. And I normally love pastrami. <laughs> oh, Teresa, the grease. <laughs> oh, Lord. No, Wills. No. I had the best meal of my life. A half of after. Finally food. Oh, yes. Oh, you didn't like your tiny. You tickled person. on the side of my head with your hair. I didn't know what it was. Oh. I felt like a bug was walking down the side of my head. Oh, I don't think so. Oh boy, pastrami is normally delicious. 
I love pastrami. I went to Togo's today, I got grandpa a tuna fish sandwich, and I thought about getting a pastrami sandwich. After, the afterbirth was something else. And, you know, cutting the umbilical <laughs> for it. Has anybody <laughs> cut an umbilical for it? Dan gave her all three inches. <laughs> it only takes like a half an inch to get someone pregnant, by the way. You could probably even do it with an any. You could rub and then, I mean, the sperm is quite survivable. It's, it, you know, it's, it's a very, um, it's got a lot of fortitude. It can survive a lot. I wonder, I mean, what? I don't want to go there. Don't even go there. I don't know, because it involved thrill up. I'm not going to go there. Where would you want to spend your second honeymoon? We That's do a have good children. Question. And oddly enough, two of them are black, and we don't, we can't, so I must have, I, I obviously have some, um, in my ancestry, I have a black ancestor. We figured that out, because you don't, right? I haven't done ancestry. All right. So who knows what I have? What are, you, what are you doing? You're like looking like you just conked out. Okay, well, no. I um, I was waiting for you to Thank stop you talking because somebody reasons. said, yeah. what would be your second? We didn't have a first honeymoon. We did too. We went to Reno. We I don't know not. why she doesn't remember it. So as for she the first. She doesn't remember our first song. She doesn't remember our honeymoon. We need to bring out the wedding video and watch it and see what our first dance was too. Because um, none of us know. Have we even is. ever watched the video? Ever? Yes. No, yes. I, mean, I don't think I've ever watched it. I don't know if I'm going to be able My mommy's in it, so that might be hard for me. I'm going to get John's video. And my dad's there. Where I made the speech? Remember the speech? My dad. That wasn't our wedding, dum dum. I know, I didn't make a speech at our own wedding. No, so why are you talking about a fucking speech? Because I made a good speech. Wedding? Who fucking cares? We're talking about us. The, the wedding dude came over and said, that was the best okay. wedding speech I've ever heard. His name was Jordan. And actually, because he did that, we hired him for our... <laughs> we really did. Bye, Julie. Did you know that? Thank you. That's why we hired Jordan. Um, or did we get married first? I think we got married first. We got first, married so first. That doesn't work. It doesn't work. But he did say that. Maybe it's because I gave him the referral. I don't know. Maybe they hired Jordan. Are, are, are we us. hammered? Pam, we're no. working on it. Not. I mean, a uh, quarter of a beer in. Not yet. I'd like to do some hammering, but we're not hammered yet. Thank you so much for the anniversary, love. What? What are you? What? Are you, what's that? What? You're done for the night? Do, have we ever done a renewal of vows? No. I wanted to do I that like on the 25th years, but that was a year ago, so that didn't happen. Jordan got arrested. I went to school with the guy. But Big T, remember what happened? What shot of him. Only one shot. Because remember what happened. What do I love most about you? Now? Yes. What do you love most? That's the first question. Well, there was a first question we haven't answered yet, but go ahead. What do you love the most? Why, why do you have to think that much? Well, it's it's not really a hard question. It's just that my mind's working a little slow today. Um, but I would have to say that what I love most is that you're you take care you took care of the kids. I don't have to worry like if I'm going to leave, I know you're going to take care of the dogs. I don't worry about the kids. Um, I have to say your mothering skills would be would be your caregiving. number one caregiving and caregiving too. It's I didn't, I didn't think about that, but yeah, Isn't it absolutely. Um, I would have to say the way she was always there for the kids, and I, there were times when I was working so much and partying so much that she probably made up for me. So that that is that would be my number one. What's the other question? Where would we spend our second? You know, we've been to Tahoe eight billion I times. I love Tahoe though. That's my favorite. I know it is. Um, where else can we go? We go to Hawaii. We've always had fun at Maui. I haven't been there since my mom died. So Maui was the place we'd go. If I if I wasn't fearful of traveling so far, I'd go to France. I'd go to France. Fearful like the airplane crash? Or no, just so long. Being away from the dog. And my dog. We can't really do anything until, I can't do anything until. What's my favorite memory of Dan? I'll tell you that. The first memory that comes up is he was leaving um, back to school, Northridge, and he hugged me and I felt tears on my shoulder. He cried. 
That was my favorite. You remember that? I do. I don't. You did. You cried. All right. I believe it. He cried. I believe it because that's just the kind of guy I am. That's me. You are Matt. Congrats. What? Um, he's about to ask his girl to marry him in a couple days. Ah. Congratulations. Um, Assuming that you get the yes. Yeah, Dan cried. I felt drops on my shoulder. I've always, I think, I've always had a hold over him. I have, I think. Like when you came and stole me away from that other girl? Yeah, but who'd you come back to? In fact, I'm starting to wonder now, did, is that the reason we're together? You just got jealous that I found somebody else? And you had to sabotage that and you sacrificed your entire future just so that I couldn't marry that other girl? It was really my mom. <clears throat> your mom? Mm -hmm. I was gonna marry your mom? No, oh. my mom said, get with it. Are you sure this is what you wanna do? It was my mom, so you can thank my mom. Thank you. <laughs> but I, I, I literally believe that. Um, Who oh, slept with you. more people? That was a good question. You. I have less than five fingers on my hand. How many do you have? You have five fingers on your hand. How many people have you slept with? Less than five. So, yeah. Let's see. One, two, three, four, four. Yeah, I'm. I think I slept with two. No, you did not. I think two at the most. No. You and one other person. No. My the first the first Margie. You don't even know. You don't even know what your body count is. I don't know what it is. Way too much. It's not a lot. I mean, that's definitely not a lot. <laughs> I hooked up with a lot of girls, but I didn't I can't sleep with a lot. Comments. <laughs> I just um, saw OJ. Yeah. Well. Um, yeah. I don't know. I let's see. I mean, I could have been a lot more, but, um, here's the thing. I'm still questioning if I still count that one guy that was just the tip of the tip. Daniel, he could be watching, so be careful, right? I mean, a lot of people that you don't think, like when oh, Tim okay, came on last night, um, so you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. I didn't say, I just said it was the tip of the tip. I, know I what still, the tip of the dip is. right, it was it. Even a tip. It was a mini. It was I mean, a... like when you go, it's like, I think that, you know, when, when it's like going to a, a casino and when you get a slot machine, you have the mini, you have the, um, what's the next one? Mini, the mini jackpot. Oh, and then the, like the major jackpot and then the super jackpot. It was a super mini. I don't even know. What, so it was like a cherry. They don't. <laughs> he had a cherry, a cherry. I, in it's there. still questionable. So if I don't. If I don't count that, so wait, it's you, technically you, you had, three. So you had the mini, and then you had the other, like the, ma the multi-major guy that you were yeah, talking about I've yesterday. Yeah, I had the super major. And then you had me. The tip so of I'm the tip. like Goldilocks. <laughs> Just you're, right. You're like the minor. <laughs> uh, so the, all right, the mini, minor, and major are yes, the three things. So yes. I'm the minor. You're the minor out of all of them. So I'll take that. At least I'm not the mini. The super mini. Henry, I'm working on the swinging thing. I've been working on it for 26 years and I've been... What's the most embarrassing moment we had together? Like for both of us? Well, I can tell you what could have been the most embarrassing moment. Remember at the, at the Hard Rock in Vegas when we one step Oh, when we had so sex in the open bedroom. We, had, <laughs> we didn't have... We, we, very early on, when I started practicing, I had a guy, a, a partner, maybe rot in peace, um, but I had a partner, and we went to Vegas one day. She was a, a stewardess, or whatever you call them. What do you call them? Flight attendant. Flight attendant. She was a flight attendant for who? Like United, I think. And so we were flying to, we flew to Vegas, and we had no money, and we, so we had, we split a hotel room. So there was four of us in a hotel room, and this is early on back when Danielle was still fun and we no kids we had no kids before kids and we finished what that we were we were checking out of that hotel room to go to a cheaper one it was at the Hard Rock and of course you, we couldn't do anything in the hotel room because there were another, there was another couple there and we might have anyway we but did. I don't but in any event we had no privacy so when we were leaving we were walking down a hallway I don't even know how we got there and there was a room that was open because the maid had been in there, but the maid was gone, like getting some sheets or something. So we thought, 
This is our chance. Let's go in and use the room. And we did that. And we never got caught, so it wasn't no, I, I mean, I don't think we've had like a super embarrassing moment. Like, like the kids didn't walk in on us or anything like that. Yeah, but I've never, no, I don't think I've had a super embarrassing moment. Not like that. Not like that. Good question, though. Kids drain the life right out of you. Especially me. No DUI ever. Was the bed even clean? I don't even know. I think it's dirty. I don't know, but it didn't matter at that point. It didn't point. matter at that point. We didn't care. We were just young, we wild. We were living wild and free. Free. YOLO. We didn't, we didn't have been drinking or anything because it was yes, early. We were in the drinking. Day. You were at the pool all day waiting for us because our, we got fucked with the That flight. was the night before. No, but the next day. This was in the morning. Obviously, maids don't clean the rooms. We like to break the back. Big T, that's way too much. Dan's with you too. He wants to break it. He wants to break all the leather in. What? I don't like all the leather being broken every day. It's not necessary. What are you talking about? <sighs> Sex. Bye, Kathy. Dad, we're here. It should come with a health warning. Kids should come with a health warning. They're bad for your health. <laughs> Yes. I've never had a deal with What would you pizza. do different in your marriage now that you know what you know? I'll tell you. That's a good question. That's a great question. There's a lot of things, I think. <gasps> you walked in on your own. Connor, I made out with a chick. I kissed a girl and I liked it. But I wouldn't do it today. I did it back in the day when we barred. Barred and barred. <laughs> you like bar? You have a couple of kids. Right. That's a horror story in itself. Rich. Shit. You will get hungry. You will get hungry. Never did the Mile High Club. Never did the Mile High Club. Um, oh my God, Raj. Nope, my kids have never walked in on me. I've heard a couple of my kids. Let me give you your pills here, Dad. Not fun. Not fun. I'm going to give you your medication. So, we... Go we'll sit down there. I gotta take Hold on, I gotta finish I this. Okay. Watch where you're going. Promise. Promise moment on each other. That's his last set of pills, Annie. Okay. There you go. The last one. Yeah, well, it's just moment on each other. Set for tomorrow. My proudest, right those and I didn't out. forget about what we would do different in our marriage There's five pills now that we know what we know. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get back to that. I'm not giving you anything. Your doctor gave you that. However, the my proudest moment of my husband um, was when he passed the bar, right? Obviously, that was a really proud moment of, that I had for him. And um, along with, you know, opening up his own practice and working for himself. I thought that was an amazing accomplishment and strength in a human. That was my proudest moment of Dan. When I opened up my practice? When you passed the bar and opened up your practice. Did you ever practice. come and watch me in court? Um, no. No. Even that some of those great arguments. Okay, but what's no. your what's your most proudest moment of me? What's one like moment that just comes really quick? Don't think about it. Well, I mean, I'm I saying recently I've had a number on social media where I've been impressed. Um, let's see. It could be anything. You could just say what comes to your mind for the first time. Um, I, I think you're the way you blossom like with social media. Didn't you give a speech at, at the wedding too? Mm -hmm. That was good. That was good, I was proud of you. Um, when you pumped out those kids, I was very proud. Very proud of you. What would you do? What would you do different? Different, okay, knowing so, what you know today, because we gotta get back to I, that. I, that's, a great, that's a great question. I would be a very different person. Oh, um, I would be much time. less impulsive. We're gonna meet I would time. hold my words back. You know, a lot of times you say things and you don't realize you just screwed up the next three days of your life because you had to get that last statement out or whatever it is. You don't, it's not worth it. You don't need to win every yeah. argument. Fuck. <laughs> yes. Do we have any dessert? Yes, Dad, we have dessert. I can't hear you. Did he finish his food? That is my first love. Margin? Yeah, he, well, he ate the, the rest of it's in the... Take a seat on the couch and I'll give you some dessert. Margin? Take a seat over there. The and for me, I'm going to answer that question. Right. I'll bring you a shot for me. Yeah. What I would do different. 
And this is going to be weird for most people to hear. But I feel that I was such a weak individual back then. You know, young, naive. Yes, it's a delicious Benjamin's donut. Had no idea what delicious I was doing. Delicious Benjamin's donut. I was trying to be a mother, a wife, and all of the above. And I, I hear so here's. Well, hold on, let me finish right. what I'm saying. And Good so property. I wish I was a little bit stronger and I believed more in myself in those moments of the early marriage years, and I wasn't so weak. I felt like I was a weak individual. I made her strong. Oh, Jesus. I did. I made myself strong. You, you did. Nobody, but I, nobody makes you stronger. I made you do it all yourself, you and that happier. made you strong. What would oh. I do different? I, you're, now I forgot what I was going to say. I think, You've taken it all away. It's a great you, answer, too. I think for you, you would have been more present. That's exactly what I would have been. I, I would have, I would have been there for my kids in the first, you know, like five years. Whereas I kept thinking, God, you know, it's a little baby and a toddler, and, you know, they're not fun. I, I would have been a lot more involved with the kids because that time passes so fast okay. and it goes yeah. away so yeah. fast um, that it is. It, it, that's a big regret I have, and uh, I probably would have been kinder. Um, I probably would have bought. Gifts more often, not as many expensive gifts. Definitely would have not gambled, um, started gambling. Um, probably would have done a couple other bad things that I probably would not do. It's not my new hairdo. I've had this hairdo since I was like 25, and it's not by choice. Um, I, I think those would be definite changes that I would make. I would definitely not make a run, a beer run, while Jennifer was asleep in her crib when we lived on Springmont. And I was probably not in a good position to make that beer run. And I think I stopped at Del Taco. And I don't know where you were, you were out. But if I got picked up, I mean, poor Jennifer. I mean, she was okay. She was just, there's a lot, I've done a lot of bad, a lot of things that I wouldn't do. That, that's a Cal Poly Pomona shirt. And I really wish that I was strong enough back then to set my boundaries. Who's Margin? And, I don't some, know. Margin keeps. I mean, because coming at you. I so. know. I mean, I know that I, I did. I did date a girl named Margie. I didn't date. Actually. Yes, apparently he left my child home alone. I, I did that, and it's one of the most horrific things that I've ever done, and a couple of things in high school. But those, those are definitely memories that stick out in my head. Poor Jennifer. Don't tell her. Don't tell her. She'll she says really she'll really be angry. <laughs> A big T. Yeah. I think probably that might be some truth to that. I, not that it, marriages go up and down too. They don't always stay no. the same. No. They don't always move in, a, in the same direction, like stronger, stronger, stronger. Sometimes they do, but for us, it's really been kind of up and down with our lives. It's just we're, we're two people that are sharing a life, and we're but we're both still living separate, you know, separately. We're, we have two separate heads. We do. Um, and that's the thing. Life, like we talk about every morning, right? <laughs> is full of up and downs. I have two separate heads. Ups and downs. A marriage is not easy. Relationships aren't easy. It's a matter of how far you grow and where you go in the end. And I think it makes you stronger. Makes what you stronger. don't kill you make you stronger. Why don't you have mods? I do have mods, Beth. I'll take care of them myself. I have a good finger that likes to do pew pew to target. Yes, leaving the kids at home was better, and it was literally like a couple minutes away from the house. What? Um, okay, so what are you talking for about? me, I would go to France if I. You're not even French. You learned that. You I'm thought you were French, French for all those years. You're not learn? French. You're Spanish. Let me see, girl. Right? You just learned that. I, I did. I thought I was more French than anything else. But I she's not. That I'm more Spanish than anything else. Yeah, she's a Spaniard. Like we Christopher live. Columbus. I want to live in. So, no, Christopher was Italian, right? Columbus was Italian, but funded by the Spanish. Queen Elizabeth or Queen something or other. Oh, thanks, user. I did not get a hickey. That is cupping. That's cupping. Um, uh, great questions, though. What else? Any questions. other questions about, I mean, those are thanks, great. See, very money. general questions. Oh, well, I'm Spanish and French. Yeah. Hence. <laughs> Um, do y'all get along with in-laws? I get along great with his mom. 
Um, and my mom liked to put him in his place a lot. Her dad scared the shit out of me. Water he was a big dude. Daddy, with all that down, she just want to stop it, Rich. <laughs> Marriage is like a water bath. Did you see that? All the ups and downs, and then the end. Oh, I thought it was going to say hot and cold, but it could be <laughs> wave. <laughs> Um, how do you think life would be? I would never, God, Sarah, I would, I would never have not had kids. I knew that was... I would probably wouldn't be married, but honestly, because we would have gone through... I mean, could we have survived that period oh, if we didn't have kids? Like when we were partying and... 26. All that all that stuff that we were doing for those, those that block of time, like five or six years. Jenny B, it takes Probably two. would have... If your marriage is miserable, you need two people involved to make it better. Absolutely. You can't do it by yourself. It is totally a two. Does she get you get along with my siblings? Mm. Yeah, mm. mostly. I mean, Danielle's not easy to be, get along with. I mean, literally, she doesn't, you know, like why bury you, things. Why do you put that on me? I'm saying you don't bury things. But You're kind of you, out on the open. But why do you put You're that not, on me? It's not bad. No, I You're know, just but difficult. but I think You're a it's difficult a person. It's not a bad thing. I marry you. <laughs> what? Why are you making that face for? She's make sure they can see your face. Because I think that's really insensitive. Of you. Uh, we're on you. social media, right? I know, but people take you serious, and they well, use that, that is not my fault. But they use that serious. they use that against me, and I already have enough issues. I don't need you. I thought that you'd become this strong, confident woman. Except that your daughter. I mean, you are bitch slapped by your daughter. I mean, they continue to. They know we're on live, and she continues to message you. Um. No, no couch. I, I, she's uh, seriously put a smile on your face. No, that makes me numb. You know that's a sensitive subject for me. What? That tone? Really? What? Deflection. Is he up? Again, deflection. Deflection. I'm not deflecting. Mm -hmm. I'm not heading. We don't Dan, even know. Here's the thing about Dan. Dan likes to protect both parties. He doesn't just take my side all the time. Um, where he should take my side more often because I'm the wife. He doesn't all the time. Are you talking about so, the family? Yeah. I mean, that's just a, a very slow. unfair thing. No. And I will tell you, I'll take his this His mom moment. and I are fine, and his mom appreciates and recognizes things that Dan doesn't want to recognize. I will tell you that right now, I mean, it is important if you're in a marriage that you respect the other side's family because that's who they are, where they came from, and part of their life, and you have to fit into that part and that's just I think that's pretty normal for any relationship. Uh, mm -hmm. That's pretty normal for any relationship. Not that you have a bad relationship with anybody. But you know, it could be sweeter. Dad, what's up? I want to help clean up the kitchen here. You, it's already clean. You can just take a seat right over there. Well, See this face. Everything's done here. Love you, Rich. No, Thank you. Everything's done here, Dad. I, I didn't want to um, that's all right. It's not yours. This face so right. Fine. It's a respect thing. Um, and I, without, you know, getting too much involved in that, it's a, it's a tricky slope because Dan is a nucleus of his family. And Dan tries to please everybody. And um, sometimes he forgets that I should be the number one. And there should be more support on my side. Um, and I feel like, um, I feel like sometimes I get attacked and people don't defend me enough. So I've learned to set, I've learned to set my boundaries and people. It's what you have for dinner already. Now he's eating the rest of his dinner. No, cry me. All right, he's still putting it down. He'll finish that. People hate that. It's delicious. What? Because I've always been run over. What are you talking about? Tell Grandpa to go. Nobody tells Grandpa anything, unfortunately, because I don't know if you can't really see from the videos, but Grandpa is enormously stubborn. How do you get over resentment? I don't know how I didn't. I don't know Jocelyn, how I didn't get any of it. But luckily, really, I did not inherit that. Stop for a second. Yes, ma'am. Um, how do you get over resentment? It's really hard. It's not an easy task. You have to let it go. Because resentment, anger, and everything ends up building and dragging you down. And when you're getting dragged down, you can't focus on yourself and you can't focus on your interpersonal growth because you are the only ones that can make yourself happy. He's not going to make me happy. I'm going to make myself happy.
And that is true. You can't make your partner happy. You're the only one that can make you happy. And usually by treating your partner better and providing them with more um, sex, oh I God. think that really... I mean, you just I'm kidding. kidding. Can you're, I not freaking You're kidding? really not kidding. I though. am kidding. Well, you're really not kidding, though. I'm that's kidding, but it's also there's a, just a very, grain of truth in there. Not a grain. A grain. Well, not a, a grain. It's a fucking five-pound bag. It's a 20-pound bag of truth. <laughs> it's a bag of truth. I mean, that is true. But in order to, you know, give that kind of attention, you have to, you know, it's just, it's true. You've got to give the other person what they need. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to be serious here, um, but that, that's true. And you don't know, it could be sags, it could be cuddling, it could be whatever. But don't freaking sweat the small bullshit. Most everything you fight over is bullshit, honestly. Most of the things we fought over in our lives have not been important. I mean, even sex, for instance, it's not really that big of a deal, but it can cause, so I think you just give it up. I mean, because it's not that big of a deal. Really? You're, you're going off the... Really? What? I, I, look, can I have fun too? Yeah, because people take you seriously. Again, I can't help it if people take me seriously with everything. Everything. But they're serious mixed in with... And you feed the fucking trolls when you say that. What There's, trolls you know, have many, you know how many countless comments I have seen? Oh, I knew it. See? There's a reason for that, you know? For because what? you feed them. Well, no, these are, that, that was a serious question, though, about in-laws and other family. That is a very good question, because that's probably an issue in a lot of marriages. And it's really important not to it's amazing, say, sure. like, you know... It's either me or them. But I'm going to tell you something. When you marry someone, you marry into their family. But I'm going to tell you something. And you have to. The most important person, I believe, him and him and his my his mother and I get along. She understands my side. You've said that a lot. Yeah, but I'm just saying because that's the important thing. The other that's also very important. The, I she's my hero. Yeah, and so I believe Next that year. that's the mo that's the most important thing. Is that him and his his mother and I get along great, and she sees when Dan says stuff or when people attack me, she sees that it's not fair to me. Um, so for that, she's a very. The other thing is try not to say me or my or focus so much on yourself. Focus on the other person and think what could I do differently that affects the other person. There's too much self focus. I had a conversation with with Z today. You know, you gotta don't even start. Don't that. worry about how it affects you, think about the other person. That's the key to life, empathy. Put yourself in someone else's shoes. Well, and, how come you don't put yourself in my shoes well, when again, I'm telling you what I want? And you've just done exactly what I said. You just turned it back on, well, I'm and the one so getting screwed. So do you. I, I was just saying, in general, you should have empathy for the other person. And yeah, you, you say, well, what sprinkler? about me? See? Don't use the word me. <laughs> Look what Rich said. If you change a sprinkler head, you just might get head. <laughs> Rich, I would have to chew. I would have to train him to, chew, to learn how to do that. Yes, I think that if you say when you say the word me, that's probably a bad thing. Mm. We're doing well. Deflection, always. I'm deflection, deflecting? Your Honor. Deflection. What am I deflecting? Deflection, Counselor. Always deflection. <laughs> yeah, I'll be as scuba gear. BT, you want to drop? <laughs> you want to? You want to drop some off for him? Unfortunately, my pool is walkable. So. Danielle, choose Brent or Dan. I don't know who Brent is. What do you mean, Brett? Call an escort. That's for me. Brett or Dan. I mean, again, she has not answered. That is troubling. We're on our 26-year anniversary. Somebody asked you a question. Would you like your boyfriend with a big schlong or do you want your current husband? And you are silent. At this present silent. moment, the pissing Again, off Again, we talked about... High. We've got a, Right here, your Richter scale is over the we're amount We're teaching you it. how not to act right we're now. We're teaching you. Right. I mean, don't sit there and like leave your spouse like open to insecurities from some lover you had 40 years ago. I mean, and that you recently saw at a reunion. <laughs> it was like we like a White House Coke incident. And you've I've been texting people. And by the way, when I Taylor, walked into I'm the old, room, old. when I walked into the kitchen last night, you guys ever walked in on your spouse having a conversation on the phone and then the conversation turns to something like this? Oh, uh, uh, oh, that thing we were talking about earlier? No, no, the other thing. No, 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 no. That other thing that we were going to talk about tomorrow? Um, well, 
I'm gonna have to call you a little later. Um, <laughs> but that thing we were talking about is important. I when that happens, I can't, I can't you've got to, you got, you got real I problems. I can divulge it. I divulge it to my Zoom, but just not Dan. Again, that's not good. I do not recommend having that conversation. She was not talking to Nick. No, I wasn't. Or Brett. I wasn't. I, I don't know. It Maybe she was. And it I wasn't know. about sure. any sexual things. I didn't say it was. Something. I just said that you're, you know, obviously, when I walked in, not only that, but I, as I was walking and she could hear the footsteps, it's about, her voice came down it's and she about starts like payback. Whispering. Payback is a bitch. You're going to pay me back? No, I love you. Then why could you not say it out because, loud when I was there? Because I know you and I know how you're going to feel. And so I just had to handle the situation by myself without telling you because I don't agree with you always. I know. You should. No. You should. No. Yes. No. no that's and the if we really always agree with you. And if I man. feel like if I could present it to the whole spectrum of people that are watching, they would probably also agree with me. Probably not. They would. Again, she likes to use the word me. It's every <laughs> every other word out like of her, her mouth is me. 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 If you marry someone that just says me, because I know me, you wouldn't me, like me, it, me, I, so uh, sometimes I, mean, I have to take matters in my own hands to protect my she family. She has one pronoun, and it's me. That's it. That's it. I had to protect my family From and me? my Salinger farm. Do you really want to know now? No. Okay, so there you go. That's all I, I don't want to know here, but you could have told me last night. Yes, my your peace lily mate. It's right here behind us. Don, thank you so much. It's my love fern. By the way, I do have to say this before I forget. I got a message, a comment today. So, you know, and this is serious for a second, guys. Um, serious. you know, we take care of my dad, right? And as a result of that, I get a lot of um, We do? I get a lot we take of care of your dad. I get a lot of comments, you know, about people's lives that some are difficult. So um, and we get a lot of respect for what we're doing. It's great. And what I want to say is I got a comment from somebody today that watches the channel every day. And I think it was a she. I, I'm not 100% sure. I just saw the handle and hopefully I'll find out. But he or she said they, they, had, they had used to have family all around them. And they, they were the oldest person in the family. And that everybody had died. Um, their siblings, her husband, if it was a female, and I think it was female, her children, and now she has only a couple of grandchildren that are all under 45. And I'm assuming she's gotta be in, yeah. in her 90s, I'm assuming my dad's age. And she said, you know, she has she had so many, a loving family all around her, and they were all dead, and that the younger generation didn't respect their elders the way that she did when she was growing up. And she, she I'm saying, assuming it's a she, she was, she's extremely lonely and loves our channel because it gives her something to, to look forward to every day. So my point is, um, even if you, you know, if you can take care of your parent, that's great. If you're in the position to do that and, but if you are just living and you like what we're doing, it does you don't have to, it doesn't have to be a family member, it doesn't have to be a parent. You can seek somebody out that is lonely in life or has needs and befriend them and, Give them, you know, an hour a week or something, anything. I've tried, I've, I hope this person will email me. I ask them to. But, you know, in order to be, you know, if you want to live this kind of, you want to do good for people, you don't have to wait for your own family. There are people out there that are lonely and alone in this world. Old, lonely, and alone. Can you imagine outliving your husband and your children and feeling all alone and all of your friends and just being alone in the world and watching social media and other family. So I'm just going to throw that out there. I won't bring it up again, but if there's people out there, keep your eyes open, find somebody. If everybody could just find one person and befriend that person um, and give them something maybe to look forward to a reason to uh, something new in their life, that would be an awesome, awesome thing to do. Um, I hope that person emails me. I'm going to try and pull them onto our Zoom. Um, but that that just really melted me when I read that comment. And uh, you know, I get I get something like that maybe once a week. A really, you know, just touching email. There's a lot of need out there, guys. Um, so if you want to do something good and make a difference in the world, find somebody who needs your help and give it to them. Even, or your love, just your attention, Help. even. I need somebody. Help. Help.
That's like, that song's been popping up on my Apple Music. Um, I true living. I I'm, I practice about twenty percent. About twenty percent practicing. I pretty much practice to keep my secretary employed. That that's pretty much what I do with the law. And also, I get to help people in, in ways that I couldn't otherwise. A post. I'm sorry you're dealing with your mom with dementia. Um, who I think will be the next POTUS? I don't know. Um, I think it's going to be a choice between two people. Um, Joe and Don, and I think we got a we got a crappy political system that nominates people based on their ability to raise money. Tips for uh, the LSAT: um, you go to the the agency itself, the, the whatever whoever conducts the test, get all the materials from them. Don't spend thousands of dollars on on prepping courses because I think they're worthless. And take the practice tests, the real ones and use that material. That's my best, my best guess. And you know, don't be nervous, walk in and just do it. How you doing in Kenya? 25 years, that's awesome, smarty pants. And that's, that's, you have my respect. I mean, cause this is not easy. Doing I, this is I not expected easy. more like- And I do it, you know, and it's my dad. So I have like I people that do it for money. Thank that's amazing. That was really sweet. I have a lot of respect How do you for keep your ca your children grounded, me? Have we kept them grounded? I think our, so. Our second to, okay, our I have to tell you the something. The first one, you know, she had this she's athletic entitlement. No, she's not grounded. She had she's athletic grounded. entitlement. She's grounded. She, she she's grown up a lot. She was a really months. good athlete, and so she got treated that way, and now we're paying the price. I'm kidding, Jennifer. Be fair. I'm kidding. Be fair. I'm um, just saying a little bit. Oh. There he is. Down. Our son, let me tell you about my son. My son. My son. Does he hear the word my? Yes, you said my. Yes. Can I help you with the dishes? Nope. They're all done, Dad. They're in the sink right now. They're all done. What? No, you cannot help no, with the, the dishes. dishes I use. No, they're all done. They're in the dishwasher. Okay, I mean, they're, they're all done. Oh, well, thanks, Darla. That's sweet. That was very nice. All right, well. Um, Grandpa wants our to do son, dishes, but he can't. So I'm gonna tell it's because you. He, we don't want him to get the no. Water. Well, he was already using the hot water. He uses that we have a hot water. Thing um, I'm gonna tell you something really sweet about my son. For those of you who make sure he's not. For those of you, I'm telling a story about my son. Oh look, Andrew. Yeah. For those of you who heard the story, I apologize. But my son. Yeah. And yeah. son. Here, give me that. Go sit down. Do not do the dishes. Here. Bonded oh, with. My cousins, my dad's side of the family at my brother's wedding, remember? And um, one of them is by Coastal. So he's in Santa Barbara. He bonded with him. Completely just bonded with him and has been talking to him ever since the wedding. And this way, they're in Santa Barbara right now. Follow so me. What did Andrew do? Andrew took days off of work, planned a trip, drove down there right yesterday, there. and is spending time with my cousin, his brother drove down, and um, my other cousin is coming in from Santa Monica, and they're all going on a fishing expedition tomorrow. Um, and Andrew's in heaven. I mean, you guys know how like how stressed out my side of the family has made me because I, my dad's side, because I feel like I'm just disconnected. This is the biggest payment anything could do for me is spending time with my kids. Me, I don't care anymore. But the fact that they're taking that effort with our son and Andrew is so excited to be there. What 18 year old goes down and spends time with family, he doesn't really know, but he feels that connected to. That's a fucking amazing kid. Andrew's an amazing kid. Amazing sure. kid. Oh, congratulations Judy, happy anniversary to you. What number? I got a picture today. I'm gonna to put it on Patreon. We'll um, Josh and Adam, they took Andrew out this morning, and um, they, he's, Josh sent and me, he's getting better. And, said, getting better. and said, I'm hanging out with your kid. This is amazing. Um, and it's fucking amazing. That's great. So that's amazing to me. That's our cut. That's our kid. I know about my kid. No. My kid. Mine. Oh, he's more, he takes after me. He takes after the Behar side of the family. That's what Andrew said. I t what he said, he goes, Mom, I figured it out. 
I'm not Salinger, I'm a Behar. He said, I'm a Behar, I know where I belong now. <laughs> I love that. He's he is. Manipulative he's, cousins you have. He's, he's, I'm going to have to go down there and save him. <laughs> they're going to suck I, him back up, um, take him over to New York, um, and grind him up. Years, Ron, congrats. Um, I really believe that he is. He's unlike anybody in my life. Yeah, I'm 18, 22, and 24. That I pushed out of my kit, of my body. Andrew is an anomaly, let me tell you. He is, I, I couldn't be more proud. I mean, I could be proud if I went to college and got a degree. I could be more proud. That but. doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> I'm very proud of him. Degree or no degree. In fact, degrees, while I, I think they're helpful, are not oh, too much, absolutely too much. not necessary. I love you. Where are you? I miss you. Um, oh, congratulations, Serge. Well, he passed away 18 years from the virus. He said so much. He was alone. Uh, um, I'm sorry about that. Um, Andrew's rash is getting better. Um, he got a steroid. The doctor gave him a steroid on top of everything else. He wants him to continue to take and then the steroid. So it's gotten better. And he'll be in salt water. So I think it'll be great. That's the ocean, right? Yeah. Hey, two and two's on. Hi, Tina. Can we chase? No, Tina. I have no control over Patreon. Patreon is his own entity. How do you do I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you the story right now. Summer loving had, had me a blast. blast. Summer loving had me so a blast. blast. I met a boy crazy for me. I met a girl cute, cute as could be. Ba -da -da. Ba -da -da -da. We met at the beach. Ba and, um, uh, but the song. Uh. The summer <laughs> night. We we met. Um, we actually we auditioned for Greece uh, together, and she was going to be. Um, what's her uh, name? What was her name in Greece? Sarah I, I know Danny because I had the name. Danny is, is yeah. John Travolta, and it oh, was her Danny. Sandy. 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 She she auditioned for Sandy. I'm Danny. I auditioned for Danny. He's, he's Danny. And, and we're apparently down. they wanted somebody with hair. I, I don't know why, but the cost was. I don't and, know why Danielle didn't get the part. And, I didn't want a blonde from Australia. <laughs> Danielle, she, she did get offered Rizzo, but she she turned it down. The stalker channel uh, slipped into that. Um, am I close to? I'm really close to my mom's side of the family. Um, I'm starting to get closer to my other side of the family and by them accepting my son and wanting him and wanting to include him is just the best gift I could have asked for. My heart has been so pure. My heart has also been pure because we had a love connection um, also today that was finally announced to everybody. Not our love connection, but... but what do they care? They care. I don't think they care. Anyhow. Two people fell in love, and so... Um, yay! Yay! Uh, yes, it is an adult beverage. It's a beer, actually. Okay, yeah, so if you are subscribed to the Salinger Farm in any way... We don't have Salinger Farm. Well, there is somebody who has a Salinger Farm, and if you're paying money on YouTube for Salinger Farm, anything having to do with it's Salinger Farm, so it's it, not we, us. I have, we have only... Uh, on YouTube, I have my channel. And we have three channels on YouTube, on 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 TikTok. Mrs. D. Sal Norcal and Mrs. D. Sal Norcal three, and um, and then this one, D. Sal Norcal. I have one account on yes. YouTube, one account on um, yes. So we have TikTok. a total. That's of, it. We have a total of three on TikTok. With, we're with not me. affiliated with anything that doesn't have D. Sal Norcal in it. We're not affiliated with it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Period. Just a couple of accounts. What? How'd that come up? Because people are asking. Are asking, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people that out that post our videos and post all sorts of stuff. They're just not us. We just don't have time to, or the energy or inclination, as Jack Nicholson would say, Tina, to go after. Tina, them. the only thing you have privy to is Grandpa's the Zoom an extra large. From that. That's the only thing we have control over. And if someone wants to send Grandpa a shirt, I gave you send my office. Tina. Salinger Law Group. You can uh, find it. When you're in love with a beautiful woman. You watch your friends, you know, you watch your friends, you know, you watch your friends. How about, um, you guys know why I do this when we sing that song? How about, spending the night together, yeah, ah. You guys know that song? And anybody, it's Dr. Oh, Hook, exactly. 
Exactly. Tina, the only thing we can give you back is the Zoom. Remember I told you that. Um, that's the only thing. Patreon charges me, so I don't have control over Patreon. Patreon is a separate entity. Um, that's it. The people that are on Salinger, Tina. Salinger Tina. Farm, yeah. I, you can, I would, I don't, we don't get anything from that. We're not affiliated with it. Um, we don't produce content for it. Whatever is on there is just taken, what have you. But um, I only have I only have this channel on on TikTok and one channel on YouTube. And Danielle's got Coachella. her shit. Coachella, 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 Coachella. That's um, a great yes, song. Yes, sir. Um, cupping, cupping, cupping. Um, that's Michael's it. I've been in the bathroom for quite a while. Now. Thank you, Tatiana. Oh, thank you. No, I didn't get a purse. I bought my own shit. Tapping is clapping. Yeah, tapping if you guys could tap to tap to tap tap tap, that would be great. Grandpa's actually in the bathroom. Thanks, Rosemary. Right. Okay, so any other questions? Oh, Ooh. that's what I'm drinking. No, really, it's a margarita, but it's close enough. Are you okay? Daniel oh, doesn't thanks, have a Robin. favorite southern meal. I've been to the south with her, and she doesn't like grits, frog legs. No, I love grits. You don't like grits. I love you grits. You're just pretending to be southern. Do you know what grits You're are? You're not even southern. I love grits You're with born, butter. Born in the south. Oh, that's it. Oh lord. That's it. Don't I pretend love it. your fake southern accent. Your um, fake. You don't. Angela, like southern we're food. trying. We're trying. We don't. We don't fry things. We're so we don't. Like, we go to Stephanie's house, right? For the southern you, fish fry. What run. do you love most about me? Pearl wants to know. Um. I, didn't I say that already? I, I love I love your parenting. That that's I love your, the fact that you. Um, What's Dan's favorite color? God, I don't know. Blue or green? He you don't know my favorite color. Blue or green? I think it was one day. I honestly said. don't know my yeah, favorite you color, but it definitely would color. be blue or green. That's yeah. that's good. Blue or green? Dan, do you know what my favorite color is? Uh, your favorite color is um, no, I have no idea. Yellow. Yellow, like the like the flower. No, you don't you know like my... sunflowers. Dan, you... I don't know your favorite color. Oh Lord, who knows? What you my... didn't know mine. You're all red or green. Yes, it's blue or green. All right, well you didn't know mine. So what's my favorite color? Does anybody blue. know? Blue. What? Does pink. It... Pink. Yes. Of thank course. you, Lisa. How do people know more about me than you? I just said pink. Yeah. Damn, Dan. Damn, Dan. Daniel. What? Your grandpa's that? sitting with the dog. Damn, right? Dan. <laughs> Pink. What's your what's your favorite memory with me? My favorite memory. God, I mean, there's I'm gonna get it wrong, but um, I have a lot with you. I'm gonna tell you. They'd be my, early. They'd be early. Yeah, early, memories. early. There's two that stick out in my brain. Okay. The first trip down to Southern California, Santa Barbara, actually, was it not? Well, we went all the way to L.A. Well, yeah, I know, but we, we Santa Barbara. But I had diarrhea. We drove. Okay. We drove. Yes, you did. <laughs> which is not good. We did drive all the way down Highway One. We're in we right now, to, currently. And we stayed in a like a hotel where they charge by the hour. Remember that? We we didn't know any better, and they it was no, by the hour. Didn't know. How about? Like I'm having 12 a little hours? bit of. Can you see? I have a little bit of an allergic reaction happening right here. Yeah, I can see that. Um. So what? How about your favorite memory of me? Uh, and San Francisco, our San Francisco date. You know, my favorite memory of you, and my best time with you ever, would have been our trip to Nashville, and then, and then we went to visit your family in, in New Jersey. Where I posted that picture on Patreon. I didn't, I didn't see it. We but, and, then we, and then we went down to Atlantic City. That's what it was. And then we went down to, uh, we passed Philadelphia, yeah. Washington, yeah. D.C. And you climbed over the fence. And I climbed over the White House fence. That was pretty cool. Back that was pre 9/11. That was that's one of my best memory of you. That was the best time I've ever had with you. And we were what? I mean, that was way before we were married. Um, I'll sh oh, I was gonna show him. Why would they not accept my son? They wouldn't. But they're making an effort with my kids. That's why. Um, and I love that more than anything about recouping a relationship with me. Which the way to do it now is through my kids because that's what's important to me is having that side of the family reach out to my kids. Yeah. Um, thank you in Saudi Arabia. When was your first kiss? Yeah. Somebody yeah. must have known when our first kiss was. I don't have Bill's telephone number. So I'm going to tell you, Dan was really weird about kissing back in the day. I was? Yeah. You what? were very weird about kissing because kissing to him was more um, like more important than the actual act of sex itself. 
I wanted him to kiss me for the longest time, but took him off. And now you want him to do it? No, kiss him. <laughs> when did I know Dan was the one? I kind of knew he was the one from the beginning. I just felt so connected to I was, him. I'll tell you that too. First time. First time what? I saw you. We've had this weird bond, y'all. Um, and we just kind of both knew. Um, so if you, <laughs> hard kisses or no. Um, so, um, hold on. What? I missed something. Oh, baby blue, thank you. Rustics, I believe we are. I mean, he drives me fucking nuts. Um, is he still selling your merch? Um, Jenny, I don't know. <laughs> but I, I'm going to start merch again. I have somebody who is helping me with that. But I have to come up with different stuff because I want it to be different than what the first time was because I don't want it to be the same um, as it was before. Um, so we just know, and that's the thing, we've always been connected through the worst times and the most, the horrible have times. Have you ever wanted to divorce me? Yes. Oh. I've never wanted to divorce you. No, you knew. I had some struggles. We were, remember when you told the kids? That you were, yeah. I, that, that, um, other, uh, other Cocoa than merch, <laughs> you know, uh, I'll do Coca merch because I love my bow. I love Baxter too, but it's different. Oh, 69th birthday today! Happy, happy birthday! Slap your mama's seasoning. Uh, I'm my clothes, okay. <coughs> Tips yeah, from your yeah. buds. Enjoy every minute. Don't be so serious. Communication. What were you thinking that day? I. I was thinking it's fucking it was hot. hot. It was really hot. It was so hot. And I was thinking, am I going to melt? Are we going to make it? That was a hard What one. are we doing in an outdoor wedding? That was the day. And it was hot. Um, there was a question out. I forgot. And I was wearing, I don't like wearing suits. So no, I was, was dressed up in a freaking black tux. It was, hot it was as ridiculous. Balls. Um, yeah. I did miss something on YouTube about, uh, about something. I don't know what about something I did. Else. I missed I missed the question, so I'm sorry if I if I didn't answer it, ask again. We have three kids. Um Trey. and I had just gotten back from a, a, a conference in Florida at the time and I arrived like the day before. Uh oh, thanks, Doc. Uh, did again cry when you first saw me. No, but I think he I think I did too. What? No, I think you just knew. When you were walking no, no, when I first never saw you, no, but on the wedding day, when you were walking down the aisle. What oh, that? how did Dan propose? It was classic, so as usual. So really, in a very that, that's what it was. Way. Sorry, Natasha. Um, so he, yes, so he had gotten the ring, and he took our dog. Do you want to tell him about how when you the dog the dog shit, jumped had up, yeah. diarrhea? Well, I took the dog to San Francisco from Sacramento. Oh my God! Describe that now with in one and, word, starting with an A and ending with a. I missed that. Hold on, that, that's a hard one. That's a that's a brain. Uh, yeah, describe Danielle with one word starting with an A and ending with a K. Acmac. I, I don't know. <laughs> Scooby. Acmac wrappers. I don't have any. Starting with an A and end with a K. Um, you guys ever have Acmacs? Thanks, they're, Tina. They're, they're delicious. These like, she's kind of dark like an Acmac cracker. Could describe it as an ACMAC. Hmm? An ACMAC cracker. People know what I'm talking about. Anybody like ACMACs? Anybody know what those, those tasteless cardboard crackers <laughs> that my dad used to buy? Asterisk. Um, here's a proposal. So we were, so now our place that he proposed to me is a vet. Um, it was Vince's. It was like it was totally, an Italian restaurant. And totally it was New like Year's old Eve, school approaching Italian. New Year's yeah. before we went in and danced. And I got up. We had a table right in the middle <laughs> with friends. And I got up he and just I threw the box on the table. I did not do you that. Did. I got up and I said, "Can I have everybody's attention? The whole damn restaurant." And then I asked her, and I put the ring on the table. And what was your response? That's awesome. Do you remember your response? You dork. That's exactly what your response was. So there you go. That yes, was classic. Uh, 
And what, was. A, what a perfect response. You dork. And then he made me dance to scenes from an Italian restaurant. It's like no, a 20 know. minute song. The DJ was pissed. So I can't really <laughs> I New Year's Eve and play I was pissed. scenes from an Italian restaurant. Scenes from an Italian restaurant. Um, I. There was New Year's Eve too, by the way. It was New Year's Eve. And did we? And we did it. We got married what seven months later? Seven months and thirteen days later? No. Or was it a year and seven months? It was. Did I have a long July. engagement? Maybe. No. Maybe you got she'll it. leave me. <laughs> no, that's why I got married a year now. You know, the odd thing is, while I've never, never questioned or wavered, I was never ready to either get married or have kids. It just happened. Um, our favorite concert we attended together was um, Tom Petty. <laughs> Well, that's not our favorite, but that was it was our fun. Favorite. That was at Shoreline. It was the most memorable. Tom Petty was Tom not Petty. attractive. No. <laughs> we, we, we we, Your phone's at Mark's, Dad. We smoked a little fern. It's at Mark's. You left it at Mark's. Oh, it's at Mark's house? Yeah. yeah. That's right there. Damn. I'm sure Grace, we were uh, together He's fine, forever. Dad. Huh? Mark is fine. I want to know how my son is. Well, your son is Mark, and he's fine. All your kids are fine. I, I didn't talk to them so long. I know. They're all, all your kids are doing great. I, I hope so. I hope so. All right. Rest in peace, Tom. Um, yeah. That was my most memorable and, concert with And him. I wanted to see Tom Petty like the year before he died, and she didn't know they didn't want to go. Did he finish he came law to school? Sacramento. Yes, he was done with law school. When we saw Tom Petty? No. no when, we, when you proposed. Yeah, I was done. And she had graduated from college. We, we, we moved out together when I, she had three years of college to go and I had three years of law school to go. And that's when we moved in together and we both graduated the same year. Two graduations. Did your dad come to your graduation? No. Are yes. you sure? Yes, I believe he did. He, oh. No, my high school graduation my dad came to, not oh. my college graduation. My grandparents your came grandparents to my came, yeah. college graduation. Yeah, I was right. the first grandchildren child to graduate college. Do you remember that trip yes. with your granddad? In Reno. That was the worst day. Mark, Mark went. That was, uh, I've never heard anybody, he snored louder than a choo-choo train. <laughs> he did. It was not even, it was, yeah, I thought it was a joke. I, is Danielle, is he kidding? I don't think it's possible to make sounds that loud. It's just not possible. That was possible. a great memory. He was a great guy. My grandparents were amazing people. We did not go to school together, but I did write her papers in college. What now? I want to call Mark, make sure he's okay. I talked to him five minutes ago, he's fine. If you could have chosen to do something else with your lives, what would you have done? Like, other than be a lawyer, I'd have been a veterinarian. You wanted to be a vet. Um, maybe uh, I would have just said, <laughs> screw Billy all that, stop. I'm gonna go write, I'm gonna, I'll be a writer. Maybe yeah. if I was smart enough to chase my dreams at an early age, probably be a writer, take more chances. Not worry about, um, you know, God, gotta, gotta make money, gotta buy a house, gotta buy this, gotta do that. Not worry about that as much and more worry about, you know, what I did with my life and who I helped and um, yeah, I would have wrote more poetry. I mean, that poetry didn't start till I was like in my 40s, but I don't wear rings because I used to work out. <laughs> I still work out, it's not in the gym anymore. And um, I, I, one time I took my, I, I was benching or lifting and I, took my ring off in the gym and lost it there. Sorry, and I did replace it, but we never, I never really wore it much after that. She wears a ring um, when, she, um, when she wants to dress up, but she got that little thing right there, that's a tattoo, and that's, what, that's in the place of her ring. And me, I just show with my love every day. I don't need a ring. The love just oozes out of me, and my respect for her and my admiration just oozes out. I don't need to show it with a symbol, I walk the walk every day. Permanent. Every day I walk that love walk. Permanent. I fill the love Look tank. Look what I did. First thing I do in the morning, I fill the love tank. Yeah, she did that. You can't see anything. Oh, ooh, don't get me banned. Turn, uh, so that is, that's that's our, that's our, I don't have any tattoos, she does. That's our wedding date. What does it say, is it correct? Did you get the right date? I asked you before. What date were we married? I don't remember what year. 96? 97. Okay, 97. I graduated in 96. All right. Mm -hmm. um, I got Danielle a wonderful gift that I cannot tell you about because I've not given it to her yet. But I will we share that after. For the gift he wants I don't. I want. I don't want to kill the surprise. So There's I no will surprise. give it to her tonight. There's and no surprise. I will read it to her tonight and give it. There's no surprise. There is a big surprise. Surprise! 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 <laughs> it's not a surprise. It's a big surprise. It's something that happens every day. <laughs> I have a gift for her. <laughs> I'm working on it right now. I. I 
We can't do it here, Lisa. You want to know my gift we is? We get banned. Okay. It's time. <laughs> my, I, because I am so thoughtful, and all I'm thinking mm -hmm. about is her. I thought, that what can I do to make my wife happy? And then I went to the pharmacy and I bought a Viagra. And so that <laughs> that is my gift to her tonight is the little blue pill. Oh, the little blue and pill. And that is no going to make her happy no all, all night long. Like, uh, what's his name? Lionel Richie. Well, yeah. The kid, <laughs> yeah. Tommy, all night the gift long. that keeps on giving. Fuck yes. my life. Yes. It's a Range Rover. And it's not my problem. And I'm just going to go until it falls off. Promises, I don't care promises. if it's four hours, five hours. No, oh, I ain't going where's to my poem? I'm going to keep Thank this. you, Scoops. Where's my poem? I I, I wrote it. I'm going to give it to you tonight. Read it to me right I, now. It has to be in Everybody, the middle of the... Who wants to hear the poem? It's timing. Who wants I to can't hear do the poem? No, you, it's, didn't it's, write, you didn't write me the poem. You it's wrote. not just a written poem. It's actual action. You didn't Poems write Poems are way more than writing right now. It's part of a an entire event that's going to happen and the poem comes out you during the event i did it's a, it's, it's a whole play you that you were part of you get to you, act in this whole scene i wrote a scene in the mean, play you didn't and she's have to gonna buy act anything, anything but you didn't Scooby, you just have to act it. you know it's not hard you just kind of have to lay there it's not a very hard role to play and I will read the poem in the course of. Wait till you hear it. Just wait till you hear it. You you hear it. You I will explain everything. You Everybody will understand. Poem? I did. You did not. I did. You suck. I, no. No. <laughs> but sucking is in the poem. <laughs> he didn't do it. I did. Guys. I did. He didn't do it. I did it. I went to get her a sunflower today too, like a tangible thing. Mm -hmm. They didn't have any. That's how much I mean to my husband. He I didn't write me a poem. Husband. Someone Something sent me flowers. I, I, I did can, write a poem. I can buy my own flowers and write my name you in the sand. You can buy your flowers. No, that's my way. I mean, you can think whatever you want. I did it. No, it's not the thought that it. counts, and you'll, Josh. I will report on it next live. Oh. When is that? Next <laughs> tomorrow. week? Tomorrow. You'll hear. It's Friday. <laughs> so I'll read it to you tomorrow. Uh, Anybody have like... I'm sorry. Do you guys know that AI oh, can I'm write sorry. Yeah. What's that? Don't even. There is a place. Don't what even. What do they call DTS or D <laughs> DMC or whatever DTF. the hell it is? DTF. And, and, you, it's a, it's a, and they can write a poem. Hey, write me a freaking anniversary, 26th anniversary, and it'll come out. I can buy my own flowers and write my name in GPT, the GPT. Chat GPT. That's Fuck. it. Fuck. You suck. Mm -mm. You didn't mm -mm. even use Chat GTP. No, I've never used it. You could have done it. I could have. You could have. You I suck. Do it right now. You just failed. No, I didn't. Wait till. I mean, you know what? You're gonna regret saying that live. It's not gonna. That comment will not age well. I guarantee it. When they hear the beautiful poem that I wrote for you, and they listen to your attitude right now, they're gonna go. You don't even deserve him. You do not deserve him, and you've had him for 26 years. It's time to let somebody else. You would. Lisa wants a poem on the fly because you fucked up. A poem on the fly. I love the fly. <laughs> because that, that's another funny story, the fly. The fly. Yes, that's a great story. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good memory. Okay, so. Dan got me. Ferns. 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 The first time. For the first time. And we watched the fly. We were very young. Remember? Yes. I remember. Not only did we get ferns, but we got a whole bunch of like snacks, too. Snacks. 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. That's right. Where they have that pinball machine. Oh, was belly girl. Thank you. Ride the Ferris wheel. Yeah. What's it called? It's um, a cyclone. cyclone. So we used to, I mean, this is crazy, but we used to get, no, I'd, look, be, I'd have a big dip on my mouth from the tobacco like dip, and I'd be there playing the cyclone thing, and she'd be hanging out with me. And yeah, we got some ferns got for dime, the very first time. I love asteroids. DB. DB. Can you say it? Nobody knows. DB. DB. From one of your friends, too. It wasn't even anybody I knew. It was someone you knew. Your That's connection. Right. I, right. I didn't have connections. I was a good boy. Danielle had the connection. So we got a DB and then we put, we, we did it and we were like rookies. So, and, and we didn't know, it, maybe I was a little less rookie than you, but I not much, rookie. not much. Cause I didn't get into that. I was an athlete. I was a backup quarterback. Thank you, Taylor. I was a backup quarterback and we did not, <laughs> DB Cooper, I jumped off the airplane. But anyway, we did it. I can't it, believe you didn't write me a poem. We put the I'm movie, out. The Fly That's off. That's it, I'm out. I'm with, out what's the guy's name? Uh, Goldberg. Goldberg? The Jack guy who was in uh, Jurassic Park. Jack. Jack. What's his name? Jack. The doctor. What? Jeff Goldberg. Jeff Goldberg. I don't think that's his name. Gold Bloom? Whatever the hell his name is. Um, Gold something. And the guy who was the fly, right? He got bit by a fly or something. I don't remember the plot. Or maybe he made some kind of fly thing. 
I don't know how I could take off in Spider-Man, right? But you become a freaking fly. Um, I guess if you'd be a spider, you'd be a fly. I wonder if Spider-Man could catch the fly. Spiders versus flies. But Goldblum. So and, and, and in the movie, they transform him into a fly. And we were like, you know, out there on this uh, with the ferns. I mean, it was like Fern City and Fern, you know, almost like hysteria. Fern, like... What, what, what happens yes. when you get? What happens? Yeah. Anyway, when Hi, the can you, can you I write, just uh, turn your head that way. Turn your head that way for a second. Let me go so, on. In the movie, I hope I get both cameras here. There's a point when Jeff Goldblum goes, and he looks up and he's like becoming a fly, and we watch that, and both of us started <laughs> laughing like just uncontrollable laughter. It was just <laughs> gut laughter, and we could not stop laughing. Even though we were eating, like, I couldn't I wouldn't had believe what jerky. we were eating. I got we were jerky. eating candy. We had, like, jerky. sour candies, everything. And it was... And we, he just did this. And all of a sudden, he was like... And that was it. it was, I, we I don't know. know. It was, it was kind of like Tom laugh. Petty on the yes. screen, right? Yes. Tom Petty kind of looked like the fly. Tom Petty. That was a great that was, memory. That was a great memory. We yeah, that was a good memory. Remember The Rock? I do remember The Rock. In Tahoe. Yeah, but, I mean, it's not like you were... No, I was nervous as shit. Right, so we, we went on a hike, and then we decided yeah. we we're going to take a risk on a hike. Um, Jake, I did meet Mr. She I have a picture of it on my um, on the, the DC trip. I, have, I got some pictures, and he's in there. Not only did I meet him, but Andrew met him. That was pretty cool. Andrew shook his hand and talked to him for like 15 minutes. Who? Um, Mikey, sure. I control the money. Favorite wedding gift? Well, we got a five hundred dollar. Was it a thousand dollars? Was it twelve hundred dollars? It wasn't twelve hundred. It was either five hundred. With, with or Josh and Adam gave us a gift and Lauren Ray, and combined it was twelve hundred dollars okay, so for Crate and Barrel. Crate and fucking Barrel. And then, and then that the, the first and biggest argument of our entire marriage happened on how to spend that twelve hundred dollar gift certificate for Crate a, and Barrel over a green. And lunch. she bought a. And she won the argument. I did. And because it was my and family. We, and she lost the war. Right. She bought a green bench. Jennifer's that we left it. at our first no, house. No, Jennifer's pictured on it. Yeah, is, do you have it? Yes, Can we it's show on the wall. It? We'll get. We'll show you what she bought for how much. So five hundred dollars. See, it's like a. It was the most ridiculous thing. I and mean, this is the problem I've had, and it carried throughout marriage. You know, she likes expensive things like Gucci, and I'm going. Why would we spend five hundred dollars at Crate and Barrel when we need like we need There's like silverware and pots and pans? There's the bench. And she bought this bench. For five hundred dollars, because that's what she wanted—a okay. green bench. And then we left it at our, whatever house we lived at at that point, Springmont. We just left it. That was our first. We house. left it. It was gone. Our wedding gift just left because she didn't want it anymore. Look how cute. I'm still pissed off about that. Look how cute. We could have got like the best knife set in the world that we could have still been using. That bench broke a long time ago. I mean, and then they, you could buy them for like twelve bucks at Lowe's. I actually, absolutely, Jackie, it was a complete waste. So I sure think 1990. That was you've been married a bit longer than us. Like you're on your you're in your 30 30 years. Congratulations, that's awesome. The Green Bench and my favorite movie is Behind the, the Green, green Door. door. Yeah. <laughs> See, not Behind the Green Bench, but <laughs> See, it was it's just money now. But back then it was like everything. I, I never ever had a thousand dollars in my life. We were holding this thousand dollar gift today. I thought we were gonna get some good shit. I still shit. have some of stuff. And yet it went on a freaking bench. Of that twelve hundred dollars. We blew it. Shopping. We blew it on a bench. It was. <laughs> we blew it on a bench. The bench. The it's first the major bench. argument. The bench. She initiated the green bench. Well, Congratulations, <laughs> Allie. Yeah. Ever since the bench has been. You're down sixteen now. years behind us. <laughs> you were born in two thousand seven. That green bench. It, it comes up in the worst. The worst ways. Dan, you know where my phone is? It's at Mark's, Dad. You yeah. left it at Mark's. I left it at Mark's? Yeah, you'll get it tomorrow. Pardon me? We'll get it tomorrow. Okay, what about Bill? Well, you can talk to him tomorrow. Bill, I'm talking You about. can talk to Bill tomorrow when you get your phone. I don't have his number, so. I don't either. You'll have to wait till tomorrow. That's all we Sandy can do. all the time. Okay, I just want to make sure yeah, you guys are okay. Emails. All right, you'll find out tomorrow. It's the best What's I can this? do. What? Did you talk to Sis today? I did talk to Sis. She's fine. Okay. All your kids are fine. I talked to all your all your kids today. They're all fine. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You.
You can see this bump. It's part of my Good, uh, good morning, Danielle, too. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Remember we used to sing that? Remember when I used to wake you up with a Beatles song? Ugh. You used Sam, to wake the kids up. Remember the, when that, that, there's a Beatles song? You used to wake the kids up. It's, it's, uh, you used to wake the kids up. How, what's the song? It starts out. How come you That's how it starts out. And we had this really good stereo with these huge speakers. So it was like track six on, or track six or track seven. And I would turn the volume all the way up and it would be a rooster. And it would oh, be, thanks, good Jack. morning, good morning, good. That's how it started. And that's how I would wake her up. Oh, full God. blast. Boy, she did not like that. No, the they kids didn't it. like it. It was the, it was kids. Way for the kids. It's no. only six thirty-nine in the morning. It's six thirty-nine at night, Dad. Huh? It's we're at night time. Is it night time? It's night time. I saw a six thirty-nine. I thought, geez, so early. Oh, I know it's confusing because the sun's. It's we're in the middle of summer. Pardon me. We're in the middle of summer, so it's confusing with the light out. Yeah. It's it's. Yeah, I, said, I, I, I I was thinking this was going into some until bedtime. No, it, it is it is bedtime, but it is it is summer and it's I don't know why can't my phone is. Your phone is at Mark's, Dad. It's at Mark's. It's huh? at Mark's. <laughs> okay. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I <laughs> Get myself to worry about that. <laughs> Dad, you're doing fine. You have nothing to worry about. Okay, thank you. You Bye. got it. It's sundowning a little bit, but not too bad. He's a, and and sundowning's okay. As long as he's in a good mood, everything's fine. You know, it's when he's upset or worried about this fucking stupid thing. This is ridiculous. What the hell is going on with this stupid thing? Damn, easy. It's a tripod. Easy. Yes, we gave him his meds. Yep. Good night, Natalie. He's been showered, medicated, fed. All you gotta do is make, put, on, put on his jammies and he can um, Pete, we told him it was an anniversary yesterday. Did we? Yeah. yeah. Well, we didn't tell him, but we said tomorrow. How are you doing in New Zealand? Texas, it's hot in Texas. Snacks. Do we, do we have snacks? For what? We always have sniffy snacks. What did the CEO of, of TikTok say about Grandpa? Um, we didn't talk about the content. We talked about other things um, regarding what was going on with TikTok at the time and the legislation that was pending. Um, so we did not talk. He did not meet with me because I'm a content creator. Poem. You have a lot of expectations. I am. I am. I'm working on the poem right now. Believe me, I'm finishing up my head right now as we speak. While I'm talking to you, I'm actually finishing the poem. You're not. What was that name again? D D C S, for that AI. I gotta get that. Mm -mm. What do you look forward to most? Good night, Miss Beatty. In the next. In the next 20, Thanks for being here. In the next twenty-six years. Grandkids. Grandkids. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. That's an easy one. Patricia, stop. Patricia, stop. Stop what? Chat GPT. We don't Chat GPT. Want... Thank you, Patricia. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm going to check that out. Hi, sir. Thank you. We'll see who, get, who writes better poems. GTP or mm -hmm. DIS. Mm -hmm. Bethany, I had the Trader Joe's earlier. I can't have that. Another strong one. Apple or Fitbit. She's got like, all of them. Apple. She doesn't stay with just one. Apple. There's more more money wasted on those little gadgets in our life than ever. Where did you guys meet? I know, I believe I know the answer to that question. We were saying. I song. believe it was Sobe Road in Saratoga. I do you believe that's where it happened? Thanks, Vina. He does social. I don't count. He does. Ed. Grandpa. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's incredibly. He's always been pro kids, you know. Grandpa is kids. always about our kids. That's mm -hmm. it. His kids. I mean, His that's life literally focuses around kids it. and grandkids. Do you have any easy lines? Yes or no? Just say yes or no. Do you? No. Do you? Yes. <laughs> that makes my mind. Pierce Road. Who is that? Jojo. How the fuck does she know that Sobe Road's off? Well, maybe Pierce she, Road. How do you know, Jojo? Tell Dion. Wait a minute. Well, excuse me. Do you know who, who is that? Someone you know? Because I gave the wrong name. 
Sobey Road no. is not where we met. Freckle we face. did meet off of Freckle Face. How does she? Who is that? Freckle Face has been around for a while. How and does she? Freckle but face. she has no idea. What yes. I, I just said that Freckle for the first face. time ever. Freckle Face. You know who she knows? Who? I don't know, but she. What's the billboard? I don't know, but What's she's absolutely correct. What? Anne Wong. I, I mean, I am amazed that you, she because that's exactly where we met. Down there. What, Dad? Your room and everything is it down there. Yeah, it's down there. I don't, Dad. I don't want you to go to bed no, just it's yet. Too early. What? It's too early. I want you to go watch TV for a little while. It's too early to go to bed. You just took some medication that's making you artificially tired. Artificially. So I want you to go sit on the couch. I'll get you a donut. Oh. I don't want you to go to bed now. <laughs> okay. It's too early. I'm too old. It's too early. <laughs> it's too early. It's too early. It's too early. Yeah. Danielle, get the dogs out of here. What? If you don't, they're going to be eating that. They're going to be eating chocolate. Okay. Well, do you want me to yeah. get the dogs yeah. out or I'll leave the light? Them. All right. I'll get them out. Yeah, go sit down on the couch. I'm going to give you a donut. I'll watch the news now. You can watch the news. I'll get the dog out of your way right here. Pardon me? It's too early for bed. Yeah. Too early. Thanks, and gentlemen. You can sit over here. I'll give you a donut. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And thank you for being positive and kind. LB, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want a donut. He does. He jumps on. I mean, if I could... Give him to you got it, Dad. He would be happy. How did she know it was off of Sobey Road? I mean, because Freckleface knows the Bay Area. How does she know? She has no idea. I didn't say where we were, I know. but it was off. It was off. Freckleface, show yourself. Pierce Road. It was off Pierce Road. The court. It was a court off Pierce Road. How the fuck did she know that? How did she know that? Kelsey, you may not ask who your fav my favorite Zoom person is. Who is that? <laughs> That is somebody um, from the old Saji, school. I hate the yelling, but you have to. Uh, five years ago at 79. I get it. I don't have a mom and a dad. So be road. <laughs> I know. Anita, he doesn't know. Um, no, Kelsey, abort. Abort. The, look at, I have an allergic reaction happening right here. Can you see that? Yeah. Dan is disturbed. He's When in doubt, call Ann Fong. When something's wrong, shit. Uh uh. Call Ann Fong. <laughs> uh, the yelling Terry is exhausting. I know I need to get some steroid cream. Guess what? I have some. Um. <laughs> oh, thanks, Robin. Uh, why is it so? I don't know, Dan, because he's no, next to this area. I'm in awe. Who the hell is that? I mean, look, Jojo. Yeah. She knows Ann Long. Fong. What, what does that have anything to do with anything? Ann Fong. I mean, the yeah. fact that you brought that up blows me away. Because Jojo is a big joke between us. I don't even know who Jojo is. She's freckle face. She knows Sophie Road. Because she knows. She doesn't know us. I don't know what you're talking about. Social media. How would anybody know that was that was Pierce Road when I said Jojo, Sobey Road? Can you please explain? tell me who you are? Because obviously you're somebody. She's laughing right now. Jojo's the shit for shizzle. We had we had another guy from my high school on last night that I played football with. So you never know who's on here, but that freaked me out Mommy, because Dad. how would you even? I don't even know if you could have answered that question. Sobey. No, it's not Sobe again. You don't even know. Pierce. You don't even know where we met, do you? Ugh, I don't even know. You don't I even fucking no know, but Who yeah, Jojo you? knows. Who are you? I'm just freaked the fuck out right now. <laughs> Jojo knows. When in doubt, ask Jojo. I mean, I am shocked. Thanks, Patricia. Yes, it was off Pierce Road. Like, 30 feet off Pierce Road. Wow. Was I... Were we drinking that night? I know I was. Those were the golden days. And it was not Sapporo, too. What did you drink? Miller High Life or Pabst Blue Ribbon or, you know, the cheapest stuff. Yeah, the, you know, the stuff where they have little puzzles on the game things, like Lucky Lager. 
Do you guys remember this? Years. 26 years. You Mickey's believe that. big mouth. I have not even visited the firm See, yet. there she is in Saratoga, California. Yes, Jojo. Dance, you have Dan. Well, all. obviously, you know where Pierce Road is, or you wouldn't have said it. So, I do drink Bud Light, Steve Austin. Just not today. But I'm, I'm going to fill my... It's on sale right now for some Thanks, reason. Eileen. Are you I don't know why, summer? but it's on sale, and I'm buying... I'm going to buy, like, eight truckloads of it, because <laughs> you can buy it for, like, eight cents a beer. So, What was so the best part good. of my day? My nap. Your nap was the best part of the day? Yes, man. What about the first part when you first woke up? That was Dan's best part of his day. And I shimmied over to meet you. He shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Drive, stranded at the drive-in. Branded. Oh, uh -oh. what, what will, will they say Monday at school? Oh, oh Danny, baby, I'm in Missouri. I made a star, now we're apart, there's nothing left for me, someday. It's just not a big grease song for me, I don't even know the words. I mean, I, I know, know, I know it's Sandy, them. but I, I put it to my name. She Danny. said Danny? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is mm -hmm. Sandy. Oh, Sandy. I know that. Okay, what else? What, are you talking to me? No, I'm talking about people. There's right. not a lot of questions. I thought everybody I mean, would be newly prepared. Newlywed game. Um, what are you right now? Margarita. We should put together an early years picture, like a video. We've done them with Grandpa, and there's a few old pictures. I think I did my... Um, there's actually, there's a picture, Sorry, that's a good day too. we have a picture from our very first date in San Francisco that I think I put on there. How did you there. tell Dan you were pregnant the first time? That's, that's a, a great, that's a great, that's a good one. And how did I respond? I do remember. You came home really quick. Are you sure? Uh -huh. no. I said, are you sitting down? You're like, yes. I said, are you sitting down? I'm fucking sitting down. What do you have to say? I said, I'm pregnant. Silence. I mean, it was a shock. Silence. The first was a shock. It was and you know shock. what you said? What? I what knew we, it? No. What are you going to do? What are we going to do? <laughs> I do believe I said that. Um, and what are we going to do? <laughs> I totally apologize for that. But I mean, at the time, you, know, when you don't have any... <laughs> it's not like I was like advocating what, for something. What, I just what said, are we going to do? It's, and at that time... And that, this fucker it came was home totally, so quick and I was crying... And he came home. He was home within like 10 seconds flat. <laughs> he said, are you serious? And I showed him the, the pregnancy thing. <laughs> yeah. Did I say, what are we going to do? <laughs> what are we going to do? What are we going to do with it? What are we going to do? And then when Andrew came, I said, what are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> and Dan said, well, no shit. We're going to have it. And I was like, ah! <laughs> I cried. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm so glad we have it. <laughs> Andrew or Jennifer, are we so glad? If we could one of them back, then we could, you know, we could almost, retirement would be so much easier. But they all just... <laughs> what was I going to do? Shit. Don't talk to do no. I mean, why you do that out on the internet, I don't understand. I mean, you have no sense of, like, protection or... What are you talking about? You, gotta, you can't just say what, what your travel plans are out on the internet. You just can't do that. You gotta get smarter about that kind of shit. For real. You can't give out travel plans or say when you're gonna be alone or not alone. Nobody knows. You just can't do it. Who said I love you first? Good Me. Question. I don't know, I don't remember. <laughs> it was like 15 years into the relationship. Did you, have you ever told me you love me? Yes. I don't think so. I yes. still, I think I'm still waiting for an I love you. <laughs> I, I, do, I definitely love you. Uh, have we all separated during marriage? No. No. Three children. Did you ever want to separate? Yes. I mean, if, if it was possible. <laughs> I, I mean, like, we had like a, <laughs> um, did we ever really? I mean. Yes. When? I wanted to separate? <laughs> really? Yes, I mean, you was, was, you you got some serious issues, if that's correct. When I had my seizure, yeah, yeah, wonderful. 
That's good, guys. When the chips are down, Danielle will come and step on your balls. Just telling you right now. Mm. Toughest time in your marriage. That was the toughest time. I don't remember because I had a seizure. It was probably it was bad. That was a tough time for me. It was a tough time. Yeah. What was a tough time for me? Everything. A lot. Life. A lot. Life. When you went when you went out and just oh I can't God. I won't say it like you said it. I won't say it. I quit the bad life earlier than her. I dragged her into the bad life and then I quit and she could and she was stuck in it. She's still stuck in part of it. That's why she still gambles. But I sucked her into all sorts of bad behaviors. And then I smarted up and I quit and it took her a little longer. But you eventually did quit most of it, except for gambling, which I mean you're gonna learn to quit that. For fuck's sake. For, Somebody for, has for to have sake. some Fun. That's it's not fun. It's fun. Losing money is not it. fun. I mean, no, work, and we, then you'll know not, it's not fun to not, lose I, money. Really? Really? I don't when work. you have to replace the money, it's not fun. Replace it, buddy. I have replaced it all those years. For of richer losing. and richer. And losing you and losing. Me. For richer. And I didn't richer. say I would continue to regenerate your little cash little thing there, so you can dump it in the middle or stuff it down the machine. Some fun. Girls just want to have fun. I know they do. So there you for go. For richer and richer. <laughs> I mean, that's the problem. We did. It was for richer or poorer, and now we're poorer. And <laughs> she's got a big fucking problem with that. It's like, did she like tell it. the truth? So I can go way back. That was fraud and the inducement. Our entire marriage was fraud and the inducement. Because when you said for richer or poorer, all you really meant is for richer. And if you get poor, I'm going to dump you. Out. That's what you meant. Out. I'm going to change us. She's going to change in her vows to that. Out. I love you as long as you make money. Uh-huh. And then That's what I said in my out. vows. That was in my vows. There were substances involved back. It, we've gone through that. Yeah. Mostly her substances. My substance in her. Oh, Lord. What? My substances. Well, Here we go again. I was substance and she had the substances. <laughs> she brought Millie home. Totally, I had no idea that was going on. It's therapy. No, she didn't work. At all. Oh. Well, you did until Andrew, you got pregnant with Andrew. What are you looking out the window for? I can't with you. How about a Z-Land? No, you don't get any. Okay, well, then I'm just going to turn mean. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, what do you guys want to know? I'm, I'm, she won't get me a ZYN. I'm having like a nicotine fit here. So whatever you want to know, ask now, and I'm just giving it up. Me too. Quick, quick. Tell. Me too. No, you can't copy me. What? And uh, then you said, me too, you're giving it up. Um, nothing that was injectable as far as what substances, sun, ocean, your typical substances, your typical shit, what, exactly what you can imagine. Bad, bad shit. <laughs> bad shit, bad shit. But it was fun <laughs> shit. I mean, yeah, it was a lot of fun, but not healthy and not, not good. And, you know. If I could go back, I would eliminate all of it, even though it was fun. <laughs> we definitely were, yeah. The soda. The soda. My favorite thing about Danielle, she stays with like me. You. I don't, I, I, you know, I like, I like a lot about it. I mean, we're, we're together, so. <laughs> Hoover. His nickname was Hoover back in the day. Again, we're talking about like a five-year period um, oh, Lord. that was What would be my perfect by... date now? That's a good question. Who said that? Your perfect date? Yes. Are you Gina, that me? was a great. Gina's my asking perfect date. you. Nope, that wasn't the question. Okay. Gina posed you. What I can would, tell you that's quite easy. What would be Danielle's perfect date? I take you over to the casino and hand you a wad of cash and then just, I drive home. <laughs> That would be your perfect date. That was kind of good. And you go inside and you do whatever you do. I would like that. That would be your perfect date. It's fun. disgusting, but that would be your perfect no. date. No, but really. My would, perfect date? No, what would be my perfect date? Aside from the casino. That would be your perfect date. Enough. What would be my perfect date? Beyond that? Oh, Lord. Really? Am I that shallow? Yes. <laughs> Without question. I mean, I could take you to a winery and you could drink wine, but what would your perfect date be? You don't like to do anything except go to gamble. I like Literally, it. that's what you like to do. So I can't think of a second perfect date. It's a big flaw that you have, and I overlook it. But I mean, it's really ridiculous gambling. Well, it's not a couple activity. 
I think maybe it's an activity between you and the slot machine, but it's not really a you know you and me activity. It never goes well when we go to a casino and I'm waiting to go to bed and you're gambling. I'm gonna hit the fucking bonus again. Uh, Bosa and Vegas. Bosa and Vegas, yes. <laughs> yeah, so that's good. That's healthy for a marriage. It's very healthy. Uh, you I won two hundred eighty dollars. That was probably her two hundred. You owe her one hundred and forty-four. <laughs> I would love to go to Catalina or Santa Cruz. Actually, we, we would do that, but we are limited with um, with my dad. That does limit us. We are limited. What? I, I, I'd say anything for like five minutes and you just turn to me and look at me. What would be my perfect date? Uh, other than the casino, what's my perfect date? Think about it. You're putting a lot of pressure on me. I mean, we've been together for 26 years. You literally years. don't like to do anything except oh, go to the casino. Literally. What is your perfect day? Tell me. I'd love to know. Because I'm honestly, you don't like to go out to eat. You don't like to go to bars anymore. You don't like to go to movies. You don't like to travel, really. Like, we're going to Vegas. You don't really. I mean, what would your perfect date be if it's not a casino? I honestly don't know what your perfect date would be. That, that your perfect date to me would be a casino. Vegas, Tahoe, or Indian Casino, right? You, you tell That's me nice, what your perfect date would be. other than that, you have I don't, I, you don't, you have no, I have no idea. I've been married for 26 years, and I honestly have no fucking idea what you would want to do, because you don't want the Coonies, which would have been my second guess. No, that's your favorite Okay, date. Ruth Chris, I mean, I don't know what your, I honestly have no idea what you like to do other than go to a casino and just dump your money into the machines. I don't know what you would like. I'm Answer that question for us. I'll, I'll respond. I'll give you your perfect date. I'm going to tell you. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Why are you smiling? I want to hear it. I'm actually, this I, is the most... I would love it. Okay. I hate when you say that. <laughs> You're stalling. You can't no, think of it. I know it. Yeah, I don't think you, you can. You come home... Yes. Right? Yes. With a bouquet of sunflowers. Okay. And you give me a kiss on the cheek. Okay. And you say, I love you. Okay. Thank you so much for Duh. all the years we have been together. I appreciate you and I appreciate everything. That's, that that's wonderful. What's your perfect date? And then you have a picnic ready. Bullshit. I mean, I know you're lying because we had a picnic. We had a picnic basket. That had everything, utensils, back, I think it was a wedding Did gift. you not want me and to tell you? And you fucking threw it that, out. Do you you want sold me? it or threw it out, did you not? Do you want me to tell you? Go or ahead. you just want to All continue right. so to interrupt me? Make it up, go ahead. We go and you, it doesn't even, it has to be in the park or it can be at the winery. And you have this meal already pre-packaged and sitting with a bottle of wine. And you wine and dine me. Okay. That's a perfect I'm thing. happy to do that tomorrow. Saturday, we, we get your grandpa. Okay, no, it's I'm taking you on a date. Okay, I'm taking you on a date Saturday afternoon when I drop off grandpa. You can't tell me. So that it doesn't really, it's not really what you want. Oh my God. I'm happy to do that. Do you guys see that? I'm going to do that and I'm going to film it. And I'm going to I'm gonna take this clip and I'm going to clip it on. And then after that, you drop me off at the casino with a buttload of cash. Right, I mean, and that's the reality. <laughs> the reality is that there's nothing you really like except family. No. That's pretty much true. I'm serious about that. I'm serious too. I would too. love a picnic. I would love all my family to be there. I asked you to and go. And surprise on. me. No, surprise. You want me to fly the family from New York? No, like the Nuggets, my kids, and have them waiting for me at this like picnic. And we That's all not eat. a fucking date. That's a date. That's a fucking family reunion. It's not a date. With my kids? A date is me and you. That's a date. Okay. Seriously. So take out the other shit. Back to the casino. That's, no, I did not a, say that. I just told you. I would you. love to have a date that I could take you on that does not involve a casino. I'd love and to do know. Do something just for me, not for you. Just give me an example. I just told you an you, example. You, that's, your, that's not a date. Is that a date? Here, I'm going to bring the whole family and we're going to meet at a freaking picnic. And that's going to be our date. Natasha, that's a good one. Bubble bath and rub oh, my feet afterwards with no. I'm sorry, Dad. With no I'm anticipation of anything in return. Well, I have no anticipation of anything ever. You always have anticipation. Yes, Dad. Yeah, I think I'm tired. I'm going to go back to bed for. Dad, a while. it's seven o'clock. Can you wait half an hour? What? Half an hour. Half an hour. What? It's seven o'clock. If you wait till seven thirty, that would be better. <laughs> Come here. We'll put you in your pajamas. What is the reason why seven thirty is better? 
Well, it's early. Always like, come, anticipation. Come on over here. Yeah, I'll wait half an hour if that's okay. You can watch yeah. TV in my room. I go fishing. Want. No, Andrew goes fishing. Let me change your room. Andrew goes fishing. Sit right here. Is this right here? Yeah, sit right here. I love the ocean. But do you see his energy? Like, how do you relax with that? Do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see that energy? Concert. Uh, a room on the beach and a picnic. I think so. Like, he gives me, like, yes, I love the casino. But if he just made it about me once in a while, that would be amazing. <laughs> but I do love being around my family. <laughs> um, Yeah. Cupping. Cupping. Yeah, just a surprise. Just to put some element, not like, what do you want to do today? Do you want to go on a picnic? Like, nobody wants to do that. I want it to be planned. I want him to have some foresight and some planning. And, like, the car's already packed with food, right? Right? His perfect date is just shimmy. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Shimmy, 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 shimmy morning, shimmy, that's it, that's it. Um, Vanilla Rain, I will never stop going to the casino because that's something I enjoy. Um, and I have my limits, you guys, believe it or not. Um, I will never, ever, ever, ever take away the things I enjoy because he doesn't like it. Sorry, not a thing. Um, and I will always do stuff for me. And if it's something that I like, I'm not gonna sacrifice the things that I like because he doesn't like it. I don't think that's something that's, I'm not losing my mortgage. I'm not losing things, you know, whatever. Um, I think it's important to also do the things that you enjoy to do, right? Um, it's all about balance TV, absolutely. Um, oh, Heather, I appreciate that. I try to give as many important messages as I can because those are the things that I'm struggling with, right? Ah, oh, shimmy all night long. Um, I know, I'm gonna get the pen. We, I can get the pen. Um, no, and he never honestly thinks about me, right? He does in his own ways. But I'm talking about an unselfish way to think about, you know, not the end result, right? Exactly. I'm on a live. I'll call you back. All right. Love you. Bye. You're good now. You can you can go to bed now, or you can watch. TV. Dan, men are from Mars. All right. I'm from the planet Princess. Yes. Planet Princess. Dan. What? I have to pee. Hold on. You too. I'll be right back. All right. I'll be right back. Coco, go, go, go to entertain. Hold on. Yeah. I She's gone. Quick, quick. What can I tell you? Funny me? You think we're done like tonight or just done? Because, yeah, there's no left to say it. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm a, I love dates. Dan, do you have to, I, I, I I don't know. She wants to shimmy. No, she doesn't. Danielle, what? do you want to shimmy? No. There you go. Casino time. I I hate casinos. I really do. I hate them. And I got hey, into it in the first about, place. So. How about doing something for me tonight? What would you like? A nice massage. I'm happy to do that for you. But nothing in return. I believe me. I'm all burnt out with that. So I'm happy to give you a massage. He's lying. I'm not lying. He's lying. No, I'm I can't I can't go to nude beaches. That's just I don't I'm not comfortable enough in my skin to do that. Casinos take all your money. I can vouch for that. But I enjoy it. It's something I love. Um, platonic massage. Platonic, yes. Men just can't give a massage. And guaranteed he'll spend two seconds on my feet and then my machine will be touched. Watch. Um <laughs> Judy, um, a couple's massage because it's an addiction. Um, 
is it an addiction if I can, you know, here's the thing about addiction, right? Jackie said it's an addiction, the casino thing. Um, I'm not going every week. Jackie, I'm not going every week. Is it addiction if I can control when I go? Do I always think about it and think, ooh, it'd be fun? Maybe. But I can control myself. Right. When you have an element of control, I don't believe that's addiction. When I go every time I think about it, then that would be the addiction. But I can control. Right. I can control. Most of the times. And it's good. Casinos are bad, right? He got me into that mess and I enjoyed it. Um, I enjoy it. I love it. I can go, I can, and let me tell you something. I can unwind, unwind. Kayaks scare me, canoes scare me. I've had PTSD, um, <laughs> ridiculous amount on Amazon. It's the same thing. Shopping can be an addiction, right? Um, everything can be, food can be an addiction. So am I so wrong? And I can afford it, right? So I'm not losing bill money. Could I be saving it? Yeah. But I got dumped in a, um, a canoe when I was young and I don't like the boat thing. It scares me. You got dumped in a boat? Shimmy is an addiction. What? Shimmy? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What a great Everybody addiction. blows their money on something. Addiction. You can shop too much, you can gamble too much, you can no, do no, That's an absolute not accurate statement. Not everybody blows their money on something. And remember, you've had you've been lucky in your life. A lot of people have difficulty living from paycheck to paycheck, right? And so you can't say that that everybody blows their money. We've blown a lot of money. We had it to blow. Unfortunately, if I could go back, I wouldn't have blown it, and we'd have a lot more fun right now, or a lot less, you know, need. But we, we've lived. We've lived. Those red circles are her cupping. She gets cupped by some doctor. What's what's his name? To her name. <laughs> what's her? Yeah, I know. Shimmy. Yeah, we're gonna shimmy tonight for sure, right? I mean, for sure. We do twice on the anniversary, right? No. We don't. You got your morning time. Now it's my time. So okay. So just to recap, what happened today? Uh -huh. I woke up. This morning, for those of you who didn't hear this, this is earlier, exhausting. I woke up and I forgot, you know, I didn't remember it like right off the bat. I don't wake up and go, oh my God, it's my anniversary. And she's kind of being more nice, you know, because it's pretty much obligation on your anniversary, right? I mean, you, you're obligated. You too, and what does she do? She kind of, you know, she's kind of being warm in the morning. And uh, anyway, we have like it's a three like, minute encounter in the morning and it's over and I'm happy going, wow, that was pretty cool. And then I realize it's my anniversary and she just, I just used my free pass, it's gone. You remember you just said like an hour ago not to use my? And yeah, well, I'm talking about it. me selfishly right now. Oh. It's okay. not, I'm not trying to say I'm not being selfish. This just is saying. totally selfish. But just saying. what I'm saying is I used up the free pass like in the first two and a half minutes of the day before I even realized that I should have saved it for later and thought about it all day and, you know, <laughs> held it in. I'm doing my due diligence of giving But no, money. she she yeah. knew what she was doing and she sucked me in and got it done. Actually, she didn't suck anything, but she got it done really early in the morning and I, and it was over. And I realized I just blew it. I mean, that was a bad move. Uh, I screwed up. I mean, you got to take it. You only have really two days a year, right? Your birthday and your anniversary. So... She and it's funny because on my birthday, he expects the shimmy too. <laughs> my birthday. <laughs> That's not true. I'm ready to do my part in your birthday. You're never ready I'm to do your part. I'm always ready to do you my part. You are the most selfish human being on the planet. That is so untrue. That's just untrue. Yeah, I know I blew it. That was, and she did it on purpose. I mean, she's 26 years. You learn a few things. I just wish that I, next time I'm going to write it like on the inside of my eyelids to your anniversary tomorrow. Dan needs so to when be I wake up and a she's bonobos like, monkey. Do you know what a bonobos monkey does? I know that bonobos is like a clown, right? No, they're monkeys. All right. I, you know what they do? Upon greeting each other, they have sex. Sex. Uh -huh. It's just an immediate bam, and then they eat the fleas off of each other. I was born into the wrong species. Yeah, you were. I was born into the wrong species. He should have been a monkey. 
The older I love the monkey. What's your favorite easier. meal to have? <clears throat> favorite meal. If like calories and everything. Didn't count. Didn't count. Probably meal. like, I think steak and lobster would be pretty good. You puke every time you have lobster. Because it's so fucking rich. Yeah, he pukes every um, time he has lobster. But I mean, if you like my favorite meal, like, I mean, you still have to beat a Big Mac. Right? Or a really? quarter pounder. That's Chris a favorite five. meal. I'm not saying that it's the best meal, but yeah. I mean, I love a good Taco Bell taco. I think they're delicious. A pizza? No! That is not a fi- I what love a, a, pastrami, a pastrami sandwich. No, you don't. <laughs> I do. I love Again. pastrami. Again. I love a nice fajita. Have you ever had a good fajita just with tomatoes and, and pico and sour cream and guac and chicken or steak in there? Got pubes? No. <laughs> Larry Davis. <laughs> <laughs> A man is in uh, San Diego, uh, Santa Barbara, with Either my cousins. One of those two places. Um, my favorite meal would be the surf and turf. Filet. So you're stealing mine. No, filet I with shrimp. I don't want lobster. I'm not a big lobster fan. Well, that's or not crab. surf and fucking turf. That's surf and turf. No. That's surf and turf. Okay, well listen. When Surfing's to, on the top of the yeah, ocean. When crabs, I go to, I mean, when I go to Ruth like Chris, bottom feeders. When I go to Ruth Chris, the surf and turf is a filet. We always split something. Right, like with the shrimp. No, we get the lobster. No, we don't. We get the lobster. Shrimp. Well, I thought you liked crab. Remember our very first date? Mm. You wanted to get fucking crab. I love crab. Okay, so that's not your favorite meal. It is. How about the what did we get? The little hands. What was that? That dessert. A snake on our first pie. Yes, that's my favorite. Oh, I love Mexican. At the hat, I'm not sure where the hat is. The hat. But you guys are making. Don't talk about food because. I'm hungry, and that's gonna. He's not feeding me anything, Scoops. Goulash. <laughs> that's a. Do you have a Zen? Maybe. I mean, because otherwise. How much I'm, is it worth to you? That's what you're gonna do on our anniversary. Mm -hmm. You're gonna hold out for a five cent Zen. Because you have yet to do anything nice for me today. That is just not true. What have you done nice for me what today? What did we do the very first two minutes of getting up this morning? That's for you, not for me. I'm gonna go look for it. If you tell me where it is, it'll be much easier. Why don't why do you walk away? When the heat is on, you walk away. You say the heat is on. I did say that. Follow the sheep. It's called addiction. Where's the Zen? Dan. Yes. Really? I'm looking. You have it in your hand already? Really? You got it there? Really? Seriously? Really? What? Really. Grandpa went to bed. He's not going to grow up. He's a Toys R Us kid. I'm looking for the... Um, Sit down, addict. You're going to get up and get it? Is that what you're saying? I can't know your hiding place? No, because okay. if you know my hiding place, then All right, go I ahead. have go not had... It. Did you make me dinner tonight? I made your salad, did I not? You made Grandpa salad. I made... Enough salad for everybody, which includes you. What else did you do? That's you? all that's been prepared so far. Mm. What did you buy for yourself today? What nothing. You, Zero. What nada. Do you, what do you have for dinner? I have nothing for dinner. I, I, Grandpa's other half of a sandwich is all I have. I've got nothing. I mean, I, who do you suspect me of being? I'm going to come here and get dinner for myself on my anniversary yes. day? I thought we would be eating together. What are we eating? That was my hope. I'll tell you in a better. <laughs> but... I hope we would be eating together. And he'll say, oh, that's just a joke. It's, really it's just a couple of digits. A digit? Like a nine and a six. I don't want that dinner. I know. <laughs> you asked what we, were, what we were dining on. I will be dining at the Y. No. Y's closed. They closed early today. <laughs> uh, Ed does not take um, sleeping pills, no. No, he does not. He walks already very skittishly. Dan, do you want to go on that one? The first date was quite interesting. I did get shit on by a bird. That was our first date, right? That wasn't like another time. Um, we went to San Francisco, and I don't know, Danielle was young, and I didn't even know, I was old enough to, but it, we ended up getting beers at, at the place. So it was like the very first yeah, time I she got. Well, we could be blending things together. I don't know whether I got shat on that, that trip. You did get shat on. Why is the refrigerator open? You, um, did, you did get shat on. I don't remember what year, what? You did get shat on. Was that on. the first But date? I don't think that was, I don't think that was a normal 
That was just not just the first three or day. six. Six. Don't okay. Don't tell me. Um, I'm not from Jersey, no. A Zen is just simply nicotine, nicotine pouches. They're they're called they're Thank called. Thank you, T Hustle. I call them ZYNs. They're called Zens. Best marriage advice is somebody starting out. Lots of um, infidelity. A Candace, the, the best kidding. the best marriage advice I can give you is yeah. let shit go. Mm. Let it go. Enjoy one another. Let it go. You, Enjoy one let another. Let the shit go. Enjoy one another. Suck it up yourself. Be the bigger one. <laughs> right. Be the bigger one in the relationship. If you can if you can be okay with being the bigger one and both of you can have that attitude, you'll never have a problem. Humor. Right? Lots of laughing. Yeah. Lots, lots of, of crying. Love. Lots of I mean, crying. Love. Happiness. Lots of you know nights crying. waiting at home for Happiness your spouse to get home, crying. wondering where yes. they are, why have they turned off their location? Yes, that's what marriage is. Drugs. And if you have to use drugs to get through it, go ahead. Do whatever you got to do to get through the night. Apologize, Dan. Casinos. I agree with. Casinos. I would. I'd wait a few days before you apologize. Um, Dan never has apologized. Apologies are in overrated. Years. Dan has never apologized in 26 years, so I wouldn't know about the I mean, who really aspect. accepts apologies anyway? Do they really help? Think, yes. if you're on the other end of an apology, yes. and Stand someone nice. comes up and, you know, look, I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm, I, uh, I had sex with your best friend last night, but <laughs> I... I'm sorry. <laughs> listen, I am so sorry. I don't know how it I happened. Clo -clo, thank you. It, I mean... <laughs> By the way, if you ever do that, don't you don't don't, don't divulge it. <laughs> what the other secret. doesn't know doesn't hurt you. <laughs> Honestly, that's true. Don't tell the truth. Lies. If, if you need to, I mean, you can tell the truth for the good things. And all you need is love. Bum, ba, da, ba, ba. And don't ever all you need is bring love. home a venereal disease. Love. That is like love that's a relationship need. killer. Because then it's like... I don't know what my wedding song is. I didn't do it. I haven't been with anybody. I don't know where the hell we got chlamydia. I mean, it's not like you, something you get from sitting on it a must have been from the dogs. And, she, <laughs> and if they tell you something like it must be from the dogs, get the hell out of there. Run. Honestly. Run. Or crabs, too. I mean, because you... Herpes you, is forever. You cannot get... Just you <laughs> cannot get crabs from staying in a hotel, all right? No matter what they say, you can't do it. It doesn't work like that. And you're not going to get crabs from, you know, like sitting Actions on an airplane. Actions do speak longer, louder than words. Actions are really But if you, if you get crabs. Respect. <laughs> Abort. <laughs> Leave. And if you have the herpes after you're married, just evacuate. <laughs> we don't even comment because that's after you're married. By that time, you may as well should stay together because if you <laughs> both, at least you both have it. You don't have to go out and go, hey, I'm on a date, by the way. I got the herp, um, just putting it out there, which has <laughs> happened to me, by the way. With a woman? Yeah. The year that we were apart. Somebody said I have herpes and they weren't inflamed. I, did you evacuate? I did not. Penetrate? I did not have, I did, it was really, um, I mean, for me at that time I was young, whatever it was when you were what a senior in high school or something? I don't know. And we uh, and I just we we herpes is for it, life. It just is. Just remember that. Herpes. That's a true story. Is for life. That was uh, we saw. I hope she's not watching because I. Um, but <laughs> you don't mention names. Nobody knows. We saw. We watched uh, the the guy who sings Al Stewart. The guy who sings "You're the Cat" and "Time Passages" in Lake Tahoe, and that was sad. And I, I mean, didn't. I, I'm not saying I couldn't have got past it at some point, but. It did ruin the night well, for you me. Know, but I mean, like if I was in love herpes, with her, herpes, I'm sure I could have got herpes past it. Herpes is contagious when you're inflamed. Right, like I, I break out. There was no. But when you don't have an inflammation, you are free. Thank you for putting it out there, doctor. <laughs> but I'm just saying it. I don't even know how the hell we got here from wherever <laughs> we were. We we're talking about marriage, and I don't know how we got to that. I just said herpes because that's what one. I had one. That's every my only time. Real life every time the kids would leave, Dan would say, "Herpes is for life." <laughs> When they went to like, you know, on their every time, high school trip. Every time, yeah, every time the kids the prom, went out. And they went on a prom. Herpes is that's for my, life. That's my advice out there into the limo. Hey, everybody. Herpes is for life. That's That was my saying to my kids. Uh, that was it's like, true. That's Dan's words of wisdom for his children. <laughs> Can you get crabs from And by the way, I mean, I, I will tell you this. Whatever, you know, infidelity is a killer for a marriage. So... 
That's one thing we never had to deal with, as far as I know. Shit. Is it I've never done tell it. You? I've never done it. <laughs> uh, no, it, it's out there and it happens. And if you fall in love with somebody that's got the hurt, the gift that keeps on giving. You deal with that it. Is you deal with, everyone's got problems. <laughs> Cold sores are a herpes, that's right. And yeah, herpes but, simplex 2 but this versus only general. Transfers. Yeah, this is different than that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 16 is young to get, to, be, to, to, to even to understand how to deal with that stuff. Chlamydia is not good either. Cloth, have you ever seen the blue waffle? You don't want that either. How would you know? Because I've seen it on Google. Why were you looking at chlamydia on Google? I wasn't. Were you looking the down blue there and waffle. Fuck, what the fuck is this? The blue waffle. Chlamydia. The blue Image. Waffle. Image. No, that's it? not it. Image, you know. <laughs> herpes. I, was that, what were you doing on Google looking at that shit? The blue waffle. And why? Are you the, trying to rule something out? Do you want to see the blue waffle? It's not fun. I couldn't imagine. Is it worse than blue balls? Yes, okay. much worse. Thanks for all the anniversary love. We appreciate that. <laughs> How old? In the moment of conception. Next question. <laughs> We abort. <laughs> we don't disclose that information. <laughs> Let's say 19. <laughs> hey, 19. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> you guys like Steely Dan? You know, hey, 19. We can't dance together. No, we can't uh, act at all. Oh my God, that's funny, Bar. Yeah. I can never we, show we not, you. She was not pregnant when we got married. No. <laughs> 26, 26 years. Today. <laughs> if That's you a had great to describe album, Deanna as one of the seven dwarfs on your wedding night, which one would be grumpy? <laughs> that was easy. Grumpy. Deanna is grumpy. Oh my God. I did too. I told my kids. <laughs> was Google, I grumpy Google, on, on our wedding night? I don't think we I was were grumpy. Both. We, were we both I mean, it took us like we two hours to get our hotel room, right? We. We went to San Francisco with we no, didn't, we didn't have no reservation at all. We just showed up at San Francisco, Gender's which was 24. stupid, and we did We don't know about the wedding. What was we our will, song? We don't know. We will watch the video. I know what I wanted it to be. Yeah. Which for, was... For Emily. Yeah, by Simon Garfunkel. Maybe it was. It might have been. <laughs> We're going to watch it tonight. That's going to be our corner. we got to find it. <laughs> Look at those two young, attractive people. It's going to make me sad, because my mom's in it and my dad's in it. Okay, we maybe we won't watch it. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks, um, Rebecca. We will probably do something this weekend when we don't have Grandpa. Maybe, on Saturday afternoon. Maybe a picnic. <laughs> Some flowers. <laughs> if you're on... You have to already... You no, there. you have to have everything already prepared. We're Not married like, in Las Gatos, oh, California. Uh, Is Coco in there? Coco's right here. Oh. I can hear her. Coco to go get Coco. Right, it is 7.30. What do you think? Should we have some time for ourselves tonight, our anniversary? Grandpa's in bed. What do you think? No, seriously. No? You want to stay on all night? What did your parents think when you introduced to one another? My mom said, are you sure? <laughs> My mom said, do you know what you're getting into? <laughs> no, we don't. We did have a wedding dance, but I don't remember Ask John. Text him. Say uh, how many oh, texts? You can't. You have to ask him and see if he remembers what it is. I remember. Cuddle. You're I love cuddling. cuddling. I'm a. I love to spoon. He doesn't like to cuddle because he only. When cuddling happens, something happens. There's a certain number on his body, and it's indicative of what he wants. He can't just cuddle without something engorging. How about after? How about me? There's that word again. I'm all, I'm now that focused. keeps resurfacing. I'm here. all focused on you. Not that there's any N word involved here. N word. Oh, that Jesus. Is narciss <laughs> narcissistic is the N word that we're used talking about here. But not that there's any narcissistic word here. But she does seem, tend to say me a lot. A lot. A lot. I'm lacking in me time. Spooning least of working. That's a good one. I did not know that. I had not heard that before. <laughs> so it induces fart. So it's walking. It does. Diarrhea for me. <laughs> if you didn't have kids, how would you have spent your income? Gambling. 
if we didn't have kids, I don't. I think we would be in big trouble. I don't think like because the only thing I always the only thing that kept me from ever going off the edge was knowing that I had a family to take care of. That's always been the wall for me, and never have I ever gone beyond you know gone so far <laughs> because I my family <laughs> always <laughs> brought me back from the edge Three always. Kids. And I wanted, whatever it was, I the, knew the, life for me was kids. Life for me was procreating and having a family. That was really important to me. So I don't think. And me. And me. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was something that we both. I even wanted more kids, but it's tough for nurses to have kids because you know, it can't all be about, it's gotta be about your kids at some point. It's always about my kids. What was that noise? My foot. No. Um, and that's the thing, you know, hierarchy is spouses first and then kids. We both have our kids first. Kids are really important to us. <laughs> Big pictures. Um, but no, that was something I always dreamt to have. She in my family. I did. Um, that's what brings me the most joy, and I think him too. And he would have had more kids. I mean, he has a lot of. Absolutely. He has I would a lot still of, have kids. He has a lot of regrets. For not, um, for not, because for not being it, a lot of stuff happened at once, you know, right at, the, at, a, at a critical time in my life. A lot, oftentimes in life, you know, you'll start to earn money right at the point when your kids are entering in, you know, like one, two years old and your focus is elsewhere. Regurse. And then you're still, you know, trying to have fun. And when my concentration should have been on the kids, because that's the real beauty in life is that those experiences and mm -hmm. You know, even when you're just dying with your kids, you haven't slept at all. That's the beauty of life. And really, cups are a <laughs> medical procedure or semi quasi <coughs> and pseudo medical procedure. What do you have in life if you don't have family? Well, I mean, family does not have to be blood either. But make that clear. One hundred percent. Family can be your next door neighbor or, you know, your Friends person down the street. On social media. Your, it can be. Family can be met on social media. How do I know? Because it's happened. But I, we love, that's one thing we have a strong foundation in is our family and our kids and everything else that surrounds us. We love our nuggets. Tom, adopted to me means you got two families. You can find one on Ancestry and the other you got. Oh, right. Older in age. I mean, I think... Kelly, you know, fostering is, I've actually thought about it. I mean, it is a very... It's hard. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't do it unless I had, was yeah, able was to make a 100% commitment to it. And it's a very difficult thing because you're dealing with really messed up kids. And I think it's a, I mean, absolutely amazing, wonderful thing to do if you can do it. And at some point in my life, like when I'm no longer practicing law at all and I can spend time on a human being, that give them the time they need, that's something that's But here's the do. thing, you know, as we get older, we get more selfish with our time because we put in the time. I mean, I, I put in the time, the devotion, the dedication. What's to, a minivan? To, to, we your did. minivan, that's yeah. what they were saying. That was another good time. Um, that's something that's really important to me. And a happy, and I can describe a happy time. One of the happiest moments I have is when my kids are together, Dan's involved, the Nuggets are here. That is one of the happiest moments that I have in my life. It's really important to me family. Grandpa's in bed. He just went to bed. Yeah. Semis, Sims, that's not, I mean, blood does not define who you love. No. And Kelly, you know, and that's one thing um, that I wish I was unselfish, right, about would be able to bring in more people into foster kids. But I just, I don't, I, I, I don't have that in me right now. I don't. Um, because I want to enjoy life and I want to enjoy my kids and you know I, I have it in me but not right this second. I don't have it in me. It might maybe in a couple of years when the when our kids are a little bit older and like we have the actual you know don't have to worry about our kids as much, maybe that is a real possibility. Our names for our kids, our daughters, um, my nieces are, and nephews, Rocky. Yeah, the nuggets. Um, the, the, um, our kids' names, Jennifer and Hannah, are both family names on his side. Um, their middle names are sports figures. So Jennifer Payton was for Peyton Manning. He was the rookie quarterback of the year that Jennifer was born He's at the time. Today. And then um, Hannah he Page was Paige Stoyakovich at the time. He was the leading scorer on the Kings. He wasn't the leading scorer. 
You said the best three point shot. Whatever. And then um, uh, Andrew's Andrew Joseph for Joe Montana. Andrew was just something we, I wanted Brendan to be his name because I expected him to come out dark like Hannah and he didn't and he came out like Jennifer. And Andrew, I mean, Dan just held him and he said, he looks like an Andrew. I'm like, holy shit, he does. So he became Andrew Joseph. He Hannah was almost Hannah Banana. Ugh. Almost. Dan real. wanted her to be Hannah Banana. This was a discussion we actually had, like when I had the birth certificate you, in hand. Me. You know, after you're up for like three days straight, Hannah trying to deal with Hannah labor. wasn't three days. Whatever, I was tired and I had the baby. And I said, why not just make it Banana? We're gonna call her banana anyway. He thought it would it. be a funny thing when she had to funny. write something down, like her birth certificate, and said Hannah Banana Salinger. She, however, does not think that was funny, um, but her friends get a kick out of that, and they said you should have named her Hannah Banana. It might have happened <laughs> if, if I was the only one there. No, he, he did. I did not let them bring in the birth certificate until I was there. Joseph Andrew, the opposite. Uh, kids are 18, 22, and 24. Thank you for the roses gift, Alyssa, or uh, Alyssa. Claudette, I remember driving Jennifer down to college, for the first kid to leave for college, and helping her set up her dorm room, and um, yeah, I felt it driving away from there. I felt it, for sure. And I knew, we, 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 we saw her, she played soccer, so we drove down for all of her games, and it was a, it's a it was a fall sport, so it was the first semester. So luckily we were down there, you know, I don't think we went a full week without, you know, going down to see one of her scrimmages or one of her games. Then we traveled all over California and Nevada, Arizona for her games. I cried the whole way home. Did you? I think. I did. I cried. Andrew's 19? Yeah, almost. almost. August. Not yet. August. Yeah, he'll be in August, he'll be 19. Do you have genes of longevity? I don't know, but I, I don't anticipate living that long because I've lived, you know, I do certain activities that are not as healthy and I've had a heart attack, so I don't know. I'm, I'm at maybe 85 would be what I can shoot for, so like I have another like 25 good years. I don't even know if I'll be able to do I'll probably be able to do it until I die. August 17th for Andrew. Mm -hmm. um, Thanks, Tom. <laughs> He did graduate from high school. Yes, yeah. but it was COVID. You know, it's the senior year was COVID, which screwed him. You know, the online stuff just. No, know, he didn't. He was like not going to live online. Anyway. He hated it. He so. hated going to school. So COVID was great, but then he became ill. Uh, well, now we have to. Now he's got to figure out what he wants to do. So if he wants to go to college, he's going to have to learn everything we didn't learn in high school. So. I want Mark, grandkids. Mark is single. I can't wait for grandkids. I think no, we're we going to be the great grandparents ever. Three years left. I just hope I live long enough. My mom died early, so my dad um, died early. So, but his was self-inflicted. All right, are you hungry? It is our anniversary. Mm -hmm. But two hours. In two hours. And we're gonna be on tomorrow. We are. So we're gonna be back on tomorrow. We, this is a bonus day for us because it's our anniversary. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. <coughs> thanks for coming on and sharing it with us. And. Um, helping us, you know, recapture our love. You guys reminded us how much we love each other and that we're in love and that there's nothing more important in the world. Matching Thank you so much. Matching. And you've got me all going, so I'm gonna hopefully get off here and if you wanna go see what, all right. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'll report tomorrow on, on both the gifts and anything else that happened, guys. The gifts, y'all know. Yeah, I'm, it's an injection. I'm working on it, <laughs> injection. <laughs> A hot, juicy injection. <laughs> you guys all have a great night. Thank you. Love you all. Thank you for all the love. I appreciate you. See you tomorrow morning.